countdown time. 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 Look out. Here comes the countdown time. You're listening to season five of That's Life, the comedy podcast designed with your laughter in mind. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be entertained. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. And we're We're back. back. Yes, that's right. If you haven't just guessed it now by hearing his voice, that is none other than Peter Von Longdonger. Oh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? He's here actually in the studio. We have Peter. After a far too long hiatus. Word. And also... Hello. It is Danielle the Awesome back amongst us. Peace is Pete's first season five episode. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Which is uh, pretty exciting. It's been like forever. It really has. This is your first time to, to Carl's new, new place. Estate. Yeah, I like it. It's comfy. It's Palatial cozy. Estate. It is cozy. It's very, uh, now that you know we've got leaves and things, it does look There's a lot, a lot like of foliage. Riv is like Rivendell out there. Yeah, it was like coming into the, the fucking... Uh, not quite Rivendell, but more like Radagast Place, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Or um, Tom Bombadil. I think it was a little yeah. bit, a little bit closer to I was, uh, uh, to the Lord of the Rings reference we're looking for. I was definitely assigning myself a certain regal dignity, which does not apply of Elvendom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's definitely Bombadil. magical, but it's not that mystical. I think that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the- not that kind of tour. It isn't. It really isn't. So, oh my goodness. There's so much what's new to there's, catch up there's on. There's a lot of words that need to happen. Yeah. Yes. Um, Danielle. Yes. You're sir. looking for a place. I am. And uh, I, so, so now that? you're, you're <laughs> actually at the house of the smoking hot lesbian. The house. I of the do lesbian live with shire. the hot lesbian friend. The now. lesbian shire. In the we'll house call it. of the smoking hot lesbian. Which, yes. Which is an awesome dude. I love their house. Isn't oh, it awesome? My it's God. It's pretty fucking rad, dude. It's the coolest fucking place. It's like my dream house. It's even filled I with lesbians. I love the house. Which makes I do. Yeah, that, uh, that's it's like what kind of makes. I it love better. the house and I love the hot lesbian, but I don't people well. Oh, but yeah, but the, uh, well, uh, admittedly, I wasn't like living there. I was. Everyone was asleep except for you guys, and we were drinking a lot. The uh, wait, the pineapple Amsterdam. <laughs> was that what we had that night? Yeah, I don't much remember. <laughs> I don't l- like. I don't vodka. remember anything until I got up the stairs. <laughs> but, but the the pineapple Amsterdam was like listen knocked my socks off. If you're gonna have vodka, you need to have Amsterdam. I, I have to agree. I have to agree. And then we played a card game. I have no idea who won. I know I made some sandwiches. It was an appalling. <laughs> Thank God you made sandwiches. Oh, I did yeah. not have a hangover the next day. Thank you so much for the Gatorade and the sandwiches. Well, yeah, it was important. Yeah. I, w- I went into like hyper. Like borderline gay Carl mode, where I was like making people <laughs> that sandwiches. That explains India's comment. And Gatorade, <laughs> and then uh, and then I just completely straightened up and cleaned up when everyone went upstairs for the orgy, <laughs> which I was just like, <laughs> I was like, you are being India, you are being the best, most accommodating hostess ever. Dude, you don't even know how accommodating she was. <laughs> uh, however. <laughs> <laughs> There's circuitry in my head that has this now this meaningful and sex connection that has to happen, and if not, the coupling isn't there between sex and brain. It, the energy doesn't go through, and then it's just like, well, I guess I'm just gonna make sandwiches now. <laughs> <laughs> so sandwiches at once. Yeah, sandwiches for all. It was awesome. No, it was a lot of fun, dude. They were so cool. I love that house. I would go there and drink and play cards with them like any day of the week. They're just the fucking coolest. Well, you're off tomorrow, right? That's what we're gonna do after this. I am. I actually am off tomorrow. That is correct. We are going to be drinking at that house tonight. What? We started and then I stopped and I came here and I'm oh, gonna go shit. back and do it. Okay. End the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening <laughs> to that's <Life> podcast. <laughs> It's been great. Uh, it's been I've been great. fine. Uh, <laughs> check out my stream if you want to catch up with my life. Uh, it's been a great. Uh, We're just gonna bring all the stuff to the lesbian house, plug it in, and let's go. But uh, yo, no, yeah, that, that was that was fun. They were so awesome. Next time I stop by, I am bringing oregano though. There's no oregano there, dude. There was no oregano. there. Wow, that's like zero oregano. That's fucking weird. Motherfuckers had crazy what? shit like ground up rhino horn, but no goddamn <laughs> fucking rhino. How Look, can you not have a rhino? I don't even remember eating the fucking sandwich. I just know the next day I did not have a fucking hangover, and you text me and that was like, yo, you good? I'm like, I'm good. Oh, I don't yeah. have a hangover or anything. 
Oh nice. yeah, it was probably the sandwich. <laughs> oh. Sandwich and the Gatorade. I was yeah. like, here, drink this, eat this. Now go have sex with those women. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tidy up. Zip, 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 zip. I was like, thank you for a splendid evening, CWH. <laughs> <laughs> I drove home just to listen to Bing Crosby. Like, this is what a satisfactory evening. I'm so glad I went. I felt yes, so it good was. And happy. Oh. That's good. She was concerned because she was like, we totally ditched Carl to go fuck. No, that was great because it was like a good time of the night for things to end anyway because I was like. I felt bad because I really was like, come here now. And you did. And well, yeah, because it was fun. And then I just was like, I'm going to go upstairs and go fuck now. I was like, cool. Then I'll go back to the place I was at. <laughs> <laughs> it's not far. Yeah, was it really wasn't. Bad. It's not like I was like, oh, I had to go to the rural hills of uh, fucking Pennsylvania now. Oh, shit. No, it was like. I was a very bad hostess that night. Well, no, dude. It was awesome. You made India's iPod thingy work. I did. Because I couldn't make. And the... we listened to pretty awesome music while yeah. they were fucking. I just wanted to hear. <laughs> Some goddamn Guns N' Roses. It's Probably what I really wanted to did. hear. Yeah. He really did. I was like, I'm like, I have become too intoxicated to make this work properly. Here, can you make it work? Make phone go. And she's like, <laughs> I don't boop, understand. Boop, 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 boop. Magic, magic, magic. And all of a sudden, <laughs> there's a sweet child of mine. I'm like, yes, <laughs> you're the fucking best. <laughs> I, dude, I don't remember the phone. I don't you don't remember, remember that? You were on the floor. I actually had to bring it to you because you could <laughs> You're like, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I said, ambulate. You were like, no, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I'm like, bipedal locomotion? I cannot, I cannot, I can't, I cannot. What? What? What, man? I cannot walk. I was like, mm -hmm. oh. Here, make have thing you work. Let me go up the stairs and have fuck. Well, <laughs> have fuck me, have fuck. <laughs> you let me have fuck. <laughs> yes. I don't even know. Have, it, have you seen them stairs? I, no, I coming. didn't see the stairs. We covered this already. <laughs> they could have killed me. No, although it sounded like everybody was dying upstairs because those lots of <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I thought they all found Jesus at once. It was like one of those tent <laughs> well, revivals. Yeah, it was probably a similarly <laughs> religious experience. It sounded well, like lots of fun. For two of us, at least. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, there they go. I was like, all right, cool. And I looked around. I'm like, oh, I can't leave like this. And then uh, a, a, a poison song came on. <laughs> and I was because like. Because I only had, what's that radio thingy that you listen to? Pandora. There I hate go. that fucking shit. That's what you're listening to, my dude. I know, but I couldn't make anything else work. <laughs> 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 it's better than Spotify, <laughs> so you're fine. <laughs> But uh, that's right. Pandora's better than Spotify. I Leave your like hate Spotify. comments down below. But like, like on my iPod, there's things, and I go to them, and like it plays what I want. And Pandora's like, oh, I'm gonna play what you want, and I'll play and a then couple I'm other things that, are, some shit. that might surprise you. And that's then, why Spotify's better because it plays what the fuck you want. Yeah, but you're gonna try to you skip to something, and it. I'm gonna be like, no, dude. Like, I literally went in there, and I was like, non-point. Five nah, albums I tried up. Spotify and it was like, okay, yeah, here's all the songs you like and stuff, but now you have to actually create a playlist. And I was like, fuck you, I'm lazy. Where's Pandora? So I can just be like, I like it these bands. It takes 30 seconds to nah, make a playlist. It really doesn't. It really does. Not when you're a picky fuck like me. <sighs> yeah, and on the okay, computer. Well, I'm not that picky. See, I got to do it on the computer. I can't do it I can't phone like that either. Yeah, I'm it's just, not, I'm See, not I phone where y'all can computer. Well, that's because you're why a you girl. Need to fix the computer. Girls know how to phone better girls than Girls are good. They give Girls give great phone. Yeah. Do they? They give the best phone. Yeah, it's true. I've never had a guy phone for you, but every time I've had a girl phone for me, it's been It's been pretty fucking tabulous. awesome, yeah. Okay. Yes, phone tabulous. <laughs> I think we have an episode title, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. yeah, so we'll just be phoning it in for the rest <laughs> of the <night>. Waka, waka, <laughs> waka. Mine's a busy signal. This isn't fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that was awesome. That was super awesome. I still felt like a fair. I really texted the next day. I'm like, I'm the worst host. Ever. Why? That was great fun. I discovered Dude, uh, I pineapple, really... Amsterdam pineapple, which was one of the codes for uh, for uh, finding the launch codes in the eighties. Oh, okay. I was kidding. I figured that was gonna be more of an enigma machine. Amsterdam kind of thing, but, yeah. pineapple. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> which I could it have made good. work faster know. and easier than her iPod yeah. with fucking whatever Pandora on it. That's her phone, but okay. But uh, oh, and we listened to Al Green. That was we the best. Did. She put on some Al Green. Like that's where. India Inc. and I, because I called her India Inc. because it made it easier for me to remember her name. <laughs> I don't think she mind too much. Or I don't know if she remembers. Probably, probably not. not. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it was great because like I was like, tell me you got some Al Green. So she put on some Al Green, and we were like just teaching on the fucking Al Green. And we would get like two songs out, and then Becca's like, no, I want this. Because <laughs> she really wanted to Because dance. we have a system do, like, a there. We thing. have yeah. one of mine and Becca's the, the angry Bose white girl music, as India calls good. it. So oh, we listen well, to one angry white girl music. 
Because what's that, like hailstorm and shit? Uh, no, dude. I mean, we're talking like Typically, Bush and like dumb shit, like alternative oh, 90s like 90? crap. That's not no, even. No, that's not angry. angry. That's just whiny daddy that's issues. That's whiny yeah. white white girl shit. Yeah. Okay, well, regardless, we're both 90s bitches, and that's what the <laughs> fuck we listen to. And I then remember <laughs> the 90s. Oh, that was yeah. after my first divorce. That was cute. Go on, continue. Dude, in the 90s, I was like, never mind. Yeah, don't say don't it. Go just, just don't even say it. See how I didn't? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've made plenty of those jokes, though, so, you know, it's all good. <laughs> um, and then we do one India song, and uh-huh. then usually we do one Jack song. Who? Jack. Her dad. Oh, Becca's dad. oh you oh, didn't get to sleeping. meet Jack. No, he I met sleeping. him. He came downstairs. You don't remember? You don't remember, do you? You don't remember much except for the orgy and <laughs> saying <laughs> that I and something about Carl, sandwiches. come over. Ah! <laughs> I was already drinking when I texted you that. And I oh, my God. I totally up. was. Oh, is that how 90 girls talk? Yes. Uh, yeah, like That's... gag me with a spoon. Oh. Mm, not with a spoon. A fork? Um, that would hurt. No. That's not very <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm all backed up, so you know we got to get the crappy ones out the way. Yeah, so uh, words, <laughs> uh, radio silence doesn't, doesn't work in a radio show. I'll edit it out. It was like a split second, but we'll sound like it never happened. Nah, I think awkward silence translates pretty well. Yes. Uh, yes. But just uh, imagine we're all staring at each other like, like, uh, where do we go from here? <laughs> so Shit. that happened. <laughs> So, um, yo, so you're crashing there, and you're looking for a place to live. I am. Um, but because I live down the shore now, everything is either way too small and or way too expensive. Or both. <laughs> or both. The shore. Yes. So I'm waiting until fall, hopefully, until they drop their Save prices. Save up some money. Yeah, that too. We could not, like, live right on the shore. But I'm a spoiled bitch, and I like living by the oh, beach. Oh, no, I, I, I was just offering a I solution. I live 10 minutes from the fucking beach right now. That is awesome. And people say it like it's a good thing, and I'm always like, well, but like Hurricane, they'll be the first people who are like, oh, everything's well, that, flooded. Well, then in like a couple of years, uh, she'll be two, 10 seconds from the beach. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, true. You'll, like be a, you'll be that. a good swim away from shore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like five years, she'll be beachfront property, and another yeah. five years after that, she'll be uh, in the uh, city the of Atlantis. Oh, Atlantis. Atlantis, place. New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Atlantis. That place is real, I hear. Bro, damn you, Obama. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Obama's fault. <laughs> Clearly. Look, I didn't, I didn't vote for the guy. I'm not a, a pro really anything, but definitely not pro Obama, but I think we can all safely not lay the sin of sinking the city of Atlantis <laughs> at his feet. Just saying. <laughs> Everything else possibly. Yeah, but not that. Not that. Definitely. All right. So it's probably uh, Bin Laden then. All right. Well, Pete, you've been away the longest. Yeah, true. Uh, you're doing sure. the work thing. You're in the Philadelphia, the city of, of um, no brotherly love whatsoever. Uh, not That's not been my experience. It's Well, what, what has been happening? What's yeah, going on? Since, wow, since last I was here. Yeah, so I moved, like to, uh, I moved to Philly. Uh, because fuck South Jersey mostly, um, <laughs> but uh, that and uh, they uh, their the job offer was right, so I'm back in the that corrugated is a sweet industry. Fucking yeah, job there, and uh, I'll actually be within less than a year. I'll be making more money than I was making at Philcor, winning to, to technically do less work, <laughs> which is always good. I'll still be operating a machine, but it's you know I don't have to push anything heavy, so it's yeah, whatever. that's got to make operating. F- Fuck a hell and, of a lot uh, easier. Yeah, I don't get burnt. The worst thing I get is a uh, well. I don't even get paper cuts anymore. So what the what the hell do you guys do there? Just watch things happen. Actually, yeah, it's a lot of staring at shit. Like my machine, uh, it, it's it's like you really have to be mechanically inclined because you have to uh, you take uh, the board that's been printed on and die cut and. F- it gets folded into uh, like the finished box product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, and then shipped out. So all we really do is is you have to take it, look at the work order to figure out like where the fold is, going, where yeah. the glue is going to go, and then you set up the machine to make that happen. And then it just and yeah, then it just it just goes. Somebody feeds the stock into the one end, and the other guy's quality check <laughs> it on the other end, and uh, gets put into units and sent off to the strapper. It's really oh. not that hard. And ev- I had a choice to take this machine. And everyone said I was nuts for taking it because, oh, that machine's like the hardest machine in the plant. And I'm looking at it going, then you guys are fucking retards. Yeah, that's hard. This is not difficult at all. Like, the only thing that makes it difficult is you actually have to be able to, to problem solve and look at where your issues are. Like, if it's not folding right, 
or you know if it's folding kind of fucked up and just trace back the issue and then fix it and what? it's a lot of minor adjustments Problem it's not hard solving yeah. that's hard i'm like like i don't even have to move a wrap arm this is not that difficult <sighs> Uh, so that's and you don't thing, get burnt. That's the part that really yeah, blows my mind. It's pretty can't, nice. It's not you're not a real operator until you get your tattoos. I mean, you've already gotten yours. So yeah, so I mean, I've done my time there. Burn so. the shit out of yourself. And it's always cute because they're always like, "Oh, you haven't had to spend a summer here. It gets hot." I'm like, uh, <laughs> "No, Ooh. you guys haven't spent a summer on the B Bridge, so I don't even want to hear Woo! about hot." It's already sizzling. At oh the yeah, core again. Oh yeah. And it's funny because uh, our corrugator crew knows my level of experience because I talk on par with them, like cause all the other operators. Well, yeah, you got shit to talk about. Yeah. Like, so they understand that I understand what real heat is and mm -hmm. the rest of the plant doesn't. So when the other guys, like a forklift driver, somebody's like, oh, it gets hot. And I just start laughing at him. I'll look, I'll look over at the, the wet end operator and he just <laughs> shakes his head and smiles. Yeah, it's hot. And I'm Isn't like, yeah, y'all don't even understand. So that's hmm. the thing. Um, so Any let's go games? What's happening? Uh, yeah, actually. I uh, met a chick via the internet. Um, so, OkCupid's okay kind of my like go-to dating site. Oh, that's a that's a thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, so, like, I dating sites for the win. Found yeah. a chick on there and, and like, uh, you know, messaged her and clicked the little like button and she had you know it was like a mutual like and whatever. Oh, okay. And she didn't really message back right away and then a lot of people don't. Well, so I, I was yeah. you know didn't really think anything of it. But like maybe a week or so goes by and she shoots me a message back. We talk for a little bit and then just kind of don't. And I was like, oh, whatever. So then on a whim, because of Danielle, she was up once and we were drinking and uh, she was on, uh, what's that, Tinder or something? Yes. So I was like, fuck, that looks like fun. Let me install that. So I was like dicking around on this goofy little phone app thing where thing, you like yeah. swipe left or swipe right if left you like them or not. If you don't like, swipe yeah. right if you do. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so conversation too. this chick pops up and I was like, oh yeah, I already know I like her. And then turns out she had swiped the like on me too. What? So I sent her another message there and I was like, apparently the internet has decided. Yeah. Uh, that we should like at least talk or something. You guys are sucking on the same noodle spaghetti. Pretty know, much. It's a matter Aww. of time before. So I uh, wasn't that sweet. Oh, that see, cute. I have I have my sweet moments. It's true. Sometimes. So we exchanged numbers and um, we we're texting for a little bit, and then she texts me. She's like, "So I think I know the girl in one of your profile pictures." And I'm thinking, which profile? Which, yeah, which, which girl, girl? What? So I was like, uh, "Which profile? Like the 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 uh, Tinder one? Because like that bitch." was a chick I lived with in Maryland, and I'm, you know, she's from Philly and all, but and she's like, no, 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 on the OKQ, but so I go back and look, and it's uh, Christine. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was, I was like, okay, so the that girl, she's like, yeah, is her name Christine? I went, yeah, why? And apparently they had a class together in college somewhere. Oh, like the massage thing? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. no, it, it, was a, it wasn't a massage thing, because Christine was going to... School like a like before she went to massage school uh -huh. she went to like just regular old school okay oh she went old school yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, so they had a class together and I was like oh that's cool you know each other so I text Christine right away and I was like oh so you, do you know this chick Melissa and she's like yeah that chick's fucking awesome why I explained oh, it to okay. her she goes she got yeah, vetted definitely sort of. talk to her I was like all right sweet so. I was like, okay, so she gets a thumbs up from one of my good friends. That's yeah, a good it's, sign. That's good. Uh, which means I could trust, like, I'm not getting catfished. I can trust the pictures, you know, and stuff like Catfished? that. Catfished? Catfishing is when you put up pictures of someone far more attractive than you on a dating site in order to get people to, like, message you. And then yeah. if you go meet them in person. Not like, so much. Yeah. But yeah, but I don't understand. I don't know why it's called catfishing. No, no, not that part. Oh. I, they could call it goldfishing. They could call it fucking noodle fishing. I don't, you don't understand why someone would do that. Why would you? Because if you're successful in your lie, provided you don't get plastic surgery, you're not going to win the game. Oh, yeah. You're just going to be like, good, I almost get to meet you now. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't get it. I just That's the thing. That's what it is. Just be who the fuck you are. What the fuck? So she's like 25. Uh, purple hair, which is awesome. That's almost young enough for you. Yeah, it's, <laughs> okay. it's, about at, the, it's at the upper end of things. Yeah, but, I mean, she's a little old. You might have to trade her up soon. Yeah. Um, she, uh, no kids, has okay. her own car. Has a job. Good, good. Uh, clearly went to school, so she's educated. Good. Um, and 
she not only is a gamer, but she streams online as well. Wow. So we're into a lot of the same stuff. We like a lot of the yeah. same music, but there's enough differences there to keep it interesting. Okay, Cupid worked some magic then. Yeah. Okay. So holy shit! Um, like over the past like two months, because uh, for a while we were just texting, and uh, she was like a little bit, and understandably so, a little reticent to like just meet random people off the internet. It's uh, without having some kind of interaction with them first. And she's like, usually I like to like have a Skype chat with people and kind of get to know them. Yeah. But we started building our relationship through streaming. So like she would stream Bloodborne from her PS4 and like we chat through there. And then like I would stream uh, whatever, like Hearthstone or yeah. now Deus Ex and like different games um, on Twitch. And uh, so we really started like, build, like getting to know each other and building a little bit more of a relationship that way. So what's real sad is we still haven't, actually met in person like the flesh time right but that's mostly been because of just like it just schedules haven't lined Where up yet she live she lives like 20 minutes north of me oh okay so right. she's she's also local that was like about to say away. wait a fucking minute hold on she's live in arkansas pete what the hell is <laughs> this yeah. about i've heard that joke a bunch too <laughs> <laughs> but did, you yeah, already, so did you already get that one already no, I didn't get that oh one. I totally she doesn't beat. she doesn't live in the city but just just in a suburb suburb slightly north of there so right. it's, it's, she's not far away at all um she actually lives maybe like 10 15 minutes from my job so like oh well, seeing her yeah. after work or something or yeah it's not that big a deal real easy um but like this weekend, I was like, "Hey, you want to uh, like?" Because today I was gonna do some other stuff, and I wanted to see if she wanted to like before I planned to come down here, uh, see if she wanted to meet up for dinner or something. And she was like, "Well, that sounds great, except I already have plans to go to the middle of fuck nowhere, PA, with my family uh, for the holiday." So mm. I was like, "Oh, well, that's kind of a bummer, but uh, you know, it happens." But yeah, whatever. She's but she goes, "I definitely want to meet up and like you know." Kind of pretty much like take the next kind of yeah the of next steps. logical step of actually so it's being like, like proximity it's, uh, to each other. It's really a. Uh, it seems to me to be progressing in a, in a good fashion, like in a, in a good direction. But it's not moving like real fast or anything either. So That's like, okay though. It, no, it, I'm yeah. I'm not upset about that. Like we're actually being able to get to know each other. You get and to rub brains, getting more comfortable you know. with each other and stuff like that. Like you know, and it's progressing real natural and organically. Just, like, just yeah, phew. it's. And she's so fucking cool. Um, so, and like, and the other thing that's awesome that uh, she actually mentioned first, she's like, dude, it's so great that you're up all night because I never have anybody to talk to late at night. And I'm oh, like, dude, I can't sleep. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, so it's like really awesome. <laughs> and the other night I was like, you realize you're kind of like my holy grail of women, right? Cause, so far, yeah. Uh, it's like I've, I've been looking for someone like you and you know, I figured it was like a unicorn type of thing that... <laughs> You know, didn't yeah. exist. You're not gonna. You're just gonna have to settle for like either a horse, yeah, or, or a rhino, or whatever. It's like my fifth. Rhinos rhino are just reference. ugly yes. unicorns. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Duck that's, that's, that's swans that is going uh, pretty well. So I'm pretty well, that's excited about that. Um, otherwise, you know, work is work. It, it is what it is. Uh, Streaming stuff. Yeah, I've been getting that. real heavy into the streaming online, and I've uh, been learning a lot and doing a lot with that. Um, I had started out with, uh, oh yeah, with the uh, Forge Dragons, youtube.com slash Forge Dragons. Boom. Uh, but moved more into this, the live streaming because that's a little bit more wave of the future type of stuff. Uh, so I want to get, like, kind of get in and get on the, on the ground floor of that. And I had been starting with playing Hearthstone. Which, uh -huh. you know, is cool and all. But unfortunately, that market is very, very saturated as far uh, as streaming goes. Yeah, and lots of All the big name Hearthstone players have all the time slots covered. Yeah. So if you're not <clears throat> a pro level player or whatever, then like Hard to break you're in. not going to get seen that way. So pretty much the second I decided, I was like, all right, I need to play something different. So there's a new Deus Ex game coming out like later this year or something. So I was like, oh, let me go back and play Human Revolution but I want to do a hard mode, full stealth run, like just set myself some challenging parameters yeah. and just stream it, put it out there. Soon as I do, I started getting a couple followers, like every couple of days a new person would follow. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's like that. So now every time I play a game, I just stream it. So how, now how exactly does live streaming work? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's actually not as complicated as I thought it was going to be. You have to make a Twitch account. Uh -huh. um, because Twitch.tv is pretty much like they're the leading platform to do it. Yeah, I've you seen can, a lot of those before, and I'll go to click on them and it'll say this channel's not active or whatever. And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? There's nothing here. Because it's more like 
TV than it is. Yeah, because like, it's, it's not YouTube. It's, I figured it's, that there out. There are eventually. like you can get the the vods uh, of past streams uh, depending on like how the channel is set up. Sometimes you have to be a subscriber. Like you have to like in a Twitch subscription costs money. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can watch any of the past broadcasts and stuff. But usually the only time that's going to happen is if they're like real fucking popular. Lots you know? of followers. Like they already have a big YouTube channel or whatever. Yeah. Um, but then most of the time, those people that also have the big YouTube channel, you go to YouTube and watch the, the thing. So like it kind of works together. If you like to watch it live, you go to Twitch. To, to, watch, to watch it on demand, you go to YouTube. Um, and all it takes, huh. uh, from a, at least from a PC perspective, because uh, Xbox and the new Xbone and the PS4 came built in with Twitch support, so you can stream directly from there. Um, but if you want to do it right with any kind of production value and a little, a lot more flexibility, you are not a fucking console peasant. You play your games on PC. Yeah. Um, and then all it takes is Console one other little <laughs> one other little program. Uh, I there you have a bunch of options, but the two most popular are XSplit and OBS. Um, XSplit is really powerful, uh, but has a monthly price tag attached to it. Monthly, Ew. you can get a free version, and it works just as well. It's just that there's like an ad before it starts, and then you, it's watermarked. But it's, so it's no real big deal. Yeah. But then OBS is completely free. And not as user friendly in the interface department, but still pretty fucking easy to use. And then all you do is uh, you set up, like, uh, you just kind of tell it, hey, okay, uh, I want you to capture this. It works like a screen capture thing. And then it streams it to your Twitch channel. You kind of like link it to your Twitch account. And it just sort of, and it right just, on. yeah, it does it all for you. So it's not even like programming intensive or anything stupid like that. Huh. Um, and then it goes. And then, just pop on your headset, tell it what mic you want it to use, and, uh, and then just go do yeah, your and thing. If you have a uh, if you have a webcam, you can set it up so you can have like face cam while you're playing or whatever. Uh-huh. I learned how to chroma key so for green screen work. So once I do get a webcam, I can make it look all nice and professional, and just have yeah. it look like uh, I, I'm sitting in front of the game screen, oh, sort that's of like cool. a weather. Yeah, newscaster. that's fucking. I learned cool how to shit. do that. Um, and then there's like a million and a half different things you can do. I just don't have the time or patience to learn Photoshop, so I'm trying to gather artists now. And uh, my buddy Alan, the other Forge Dragon, and I, are um, we've contracted out a bunch of art projects to uh, people that he's found online to get more channel art and banner art. And, uh, and like we're getting an icon for our stuff, so it's like it's kind of moving along at a pretty good, pretty good clip, slowly and surely. Because uh, nothing, none of this stuff happens overnight. But um, no, I really enjoy it. So and I've because diversifying is the best way to go in pretty much anything you do. Word. Um, anytime I play a game now, like ninety percent of the time, if I'm if I'm gaming, I'm going to stream it just because it's also like it's good practice to. Because <laughs> another thing people don't necessarily realize is, especially if you don't have a face cam of some flavor, um, commenting on your game while you're playing. Not easy, like oh yeah, to run yeah. to to try and be entertaining and run a commentary while you're playing a game is, yeah. is not the easiest no, thing you're on the planet. Like busy doing shit, yeah. A lot not of people, to die or a lot to of kill. people take that for granted and stuff, and especially like you know, a being trying to be stealthy in a first person shooter and be entertaining at the same time. Yeah, you'd want to have easiest. someone like really talkative that could just sort of bounce shit off of you when you're in the hard parts. And then you get to a simpler, grindy part, then it can kind of bounce back and it forth. It is That's nice. An dynamic. Yeah, it, it's nice to have. Uh, I mean, I do a lot of like just streaming on my own because not a lot of people I know are up that late. <laughs> but uh, it is nice to also have somebody else there, like you said. So you know, if if like if I'm playing and I need to concentrate on a thing, yeah, you know, whoever else is there can do just, something yeah. entertaining. Blibber blabber, or just fill it with but something funny. The fun thing about playing a game. Uh, with a story like a single player game by yourself, it, at least for me anyway, is I have the whole game to riff off of. You yeah. know, like I like run into funny glitches. You can totally take that for you know all it's all worth. it's worth. And, yeah. and I always talk back to the NPCs when they start talking and you know they <laughs> make fun of what they're all saying. All the shit and, that we've been or doing. How bad their voice acting that we is. Don't stream. 
Yeah, all, all yeah. the shit that we've been doing for years to video games as we play them. Yeah, it, chilling it, with our boys. It's and pretty shit. much MST3K except live streamed over a game. See, now you're totally selling it to me. No, now you gotta set the ship. I want to try it with you. <laughs> it yeah, oh, cool it's, shit. it's a fucking blast, and yeah, I I have a, a good time doing it, and it's it, to me because of doing this and uh, like the podcasting thing and and being an MST fan and all this kind of stuff. It's real natural to me to be just like playing along and making fun of the yeah. thing and and commenting and. And uh, reading chat and responding to to the chat as well, you know, oh, and doing man, all that. Neat. Like, I have a blast doing it. That's it's, like a it's, whole new dynamic. That's int- I mean, I'm getting intrigued here. Yeah, it's like uh, I mean, it's 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 like playing games with your friends, even even if they're not necessarily right in the room. And yeah, and providing like entertainment for other people as yeah, well. So which is pretty fucking. It's like rad. a triple rainbow of win. Yeah, so like I, I'm really getting into that and really enjoying it and uh, and things. <laughs> Word. Um, yeah. So that's 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 like the big the big stuff. Oh, I'm not smoking, Pete. Yeah, I know, and I'm trying to uh, respect He's that. Trying it's not so to. fucking gay. Damn it. <laughs> not in a good way. Because you know we got the fucking the blood test thingy for work and insurance. So I'm like, it was funny. I was just telling somebody about this at work the other day too. I was like, yeah, my buddy. Is like so fucking hilarious because of the whole deal with the the insurance. And then as soon as he takes the pee test, he goes outside and lights up a cigar. A celebratory cigar. Now, I used to take breaks from it all the time. It wasn't that big a deal. And then, uh, you know, there was the whole crumbling marriage thing, stress going up. Yep. Uh, That'll do it. Sure not was. getting any sleep. Uh, that didn't help. Yeah. You know, job stress through the work and then moving out here. Now, at home, well, I'm sorry, at home. At the old the, house. The old house. Big Kim's place. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't smoke in a house, which yeah. was fine. I didn't give a shit. So mainly it was just podcasting. I would chain smoke. And I might smoke like every two days I might smoke like a whole cigar because I would just be driving. And I would yeah. Just smoke. It was no big deal. And then, it, uh, then I moved out here. I could smoke whenever the fuck I wanted. I no rules. Well, yeah. I mean, well, no, there was a rule. Rules. Yeah, that I can smoke whenever the fuck I want. That was my rule. So you know, I I would be you know tanking and fucking World of Warcraft smoke. I'd mm-hmm. be uh, editing an episode smoke. I'd be fucking trying to figure some shit out online smoke. <laughs> I'd be cooking in the kitchen smoke. I'd wake up smoke. I'd get ready for bed smoke. <laughs> and so it just became smoke, 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 smoke. No break whatsoever. And then finally, I'm like, you know, I really gotta take a break. So the, the blood test came. I said that's great. Per, yeah, I want to take a break yeah, anyway. It'll be like rest the fir- your lungs or whatever. Yeah, the first break I take, and that's great. And then uh, I was like, wow, I can you know smell things a lot better. Taste uh, is good. <laughs> yeah, taste taste is better. You know, I'm like, wow, well, things. You know, I was really hitting it. So, but I've never done anything that made me have like an addiction. And I've never, my brain's just not wired for it. It's like, cocaine, that's cute, whatever. <laughs> but for some reason, like, smoking cigars every second of your life for an hour and a half, apparently, that can cause an, a nicotine addiction. One would think. So there's like it this, can like, happen, yeah. it's like a nervous energy. Yes. Where you know, you're, my brain's like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yep. Now, ordinarily, I'm like, yeah, if I want to do it, I'll just do it, do it, do it. I don't give a shit, whatever. But and I'm like, no, Brain, we can't do it. And so Brain's like, no, no, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm like, Brain, no, we're just not going to do it. Brain's like, but you want to do it. I'm like, well, yeah, actually, I really want to do it. It's not like I, I want to do it. Yeah. But that's you're not tr- the question here, yeah, Brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy it. It's it's great. It t- I enjoy the flavor. I enjoy the whole smoking thing. I like, but then I'm like, no, Brain, we can't do it. Brain's like, well, you have to do it. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Well, hold, hold up a, hold up a goddamn minute, N- nigga. Hold my, hold my hat. Hold on. <laughs> what the fuck you just say to me, mother? You just say I have to, I have to do shit, motherfucker. I'm a divorcee. I ain't got to do a motherfucking thing. So <laughs> <a> child support <laughs> and die. <laughs> and a motherfucker on this earth tell me what the fuck to do, motherfucker. So then I, I get it by its fucking throat, and I'm like, yeah, that's right, bitch. Yeah, because now. Now I'm enjoying the delicious excitement of denying myself something that I really want. Uh huh. Yeah, that's always fun, isn't it? Which before was like you know sleep, human yeah. intimacy, uh, <laughs> happiness, <laughs> joy, yeah. Yeah. flavor, uh, air. Not sleeping, you know, with a gravestone over my fucking bed as a headboard, you know. Uh, but like like the basic pleasures of life, you know. 
Yeah. I, and I never just been like, no, I'm not going to do that. Great. Yeah. It's uh it's <laughs> weird. It's it kind of sucks. But I was supposed to be able to smoke tonight. Yeah. This I even weekend. brought some. I know, yeah. dude. Danielle uh, keeping up with her namesake, being awesome, the True. awesome. Brought a whole box of Black and Mild with the wooden tip, and I was so excited for this. And, dude, I like tomorrow, uh, relatively, already, Ross and I are going to be doing some work on, on the trailer and stuff. And I, I always smoke when I'm doing shit. Yeah. Like, now I can't sense. do the smoking when I'm doing shit. Dude. And that's bullshit. All of it's bullshit. It's all because of paperwork. <laughs> that's Next even time, worse. Next time, make sure paper. Oh, I had the paperwork, and it was the right paperwork. Make but sure your name oh. is on the paper. I said, this is everything I need? Yes. And it, it is actually everything I need. They were wrong. Because I brought it back to my uh, uh, job. To my job. And I said, w- what the fuck? But I put it much more professionally. And uh, and it, then uh, she looked into it. She's like, no, they're wrong. So I'm going to call the, the office manager and tell them what the fuck. Because it wasn't just me. It was like... Uh, Another person came before me. I think another person after me. So I'm warning everybody, saying, don't go to this fucking place. Go to the other place. Everyone at the other places was fucking fine. Not me. But if they just want your name and the address, just put the fuck on there and move on. Right. You think that, right? Because that's right. what I suggested. Just put yeah. it on and move on. Because I had the box in... Because I was wearing one of these shirts with the little chest pocket. I uh-huh. had the box of cigars I there. I wonder why you were groping yourself against like that. my <laughs> head right here on my titty. Ah, <laughs> no, right here all over my beating heart. And I'm like, this is gonna be so fucking cool. I'm gonna fucking light this bitch up because it's such an asshole rebel thing to do. Yeah. Right in the fucking lobby. Right in the you know, lobby. Too. <laughs> Ash all over the carpet. Fuck you. And, uh, <laughs> and I said, look, I can just fill this the fuck out. I know the information, like my name and where I work. It's not like secret code numbers or something. <laughs> you know? right. It's not like, well, what is the, what's the password for Obama's luggage? I don't know. I don't know. Well, then we can't <laughs> One, two, take three, some of four, your five. blood. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of an idiot has that? <laughs> Sorry. Spaceballs <laughs> reference, I ladies and gentlemen. I the code of my luggage. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so I was uh, I was very pissed off. And so now I'm not smoking, and it's bullshit. Yes, and, and he is physically agitated. I'm physically agitated because I'm like, what the fuck? But when I get agitated, I just turn it sideways, and it's comedy again. So that's okay. Hmm. Uh, it is, you know, the best way to be comedic, <laughs> I suppose. I've been, trying, I've been doing the online dating thing. Uh, talked to a couple people, interesting people. Again, the problem I keep having is... You know, I'm like, oh, no, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Don't be so down on yourself. You're going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. You know, Uh, and and they're just like, no, we want the dick. And I'm just like, oh, I've made things awkward, haven't I? I should have been like, hey. And also I noticed something. Yes. I started talking to a nice young lady. And it's something that that happens with, with women online. Part of their experience, I've never had this because obviously I'm a dude. (laughs) <laughs> uh, is that apparently married men go on there to like have affairs? Oh yeah, yes. and they'll totally like lie about their fucking lives and shit. Yes. And again, it's like men do that without the internet. Y- well, yeah, I guess the yeah, that's what bars them. are for as well. But I'm like, I'm like, well, why would you just? I don't understand. There's so many other sites where you could just be like, I want vagina, and they're like, Yeah, there's lots of those. Yeah, out there. are you slinging dick? Yeah, uh, I'm slinging married dick, and bitch be like. Oh, I love married dick. And they can go do what they want to do with no pretense or lies or misrepresentation. So apparently... Because I, that's not human nature. Because I've had to vet myself like that I'm not actually married, like, yeah. you know, living, like, happily married, living with married thing. And that's, like, kind of difficult <laughs> to... I've never had to prove myself unmarried before. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> this is weird. Uh yeah, I mean, I could have you call my ex-wife, but that would be really <laughs> weird. Yeah, that, that probably would wouldn't bad. end well for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. I'm a 40-year-old dude, answerable to no one. Someone gets in my face, be like, fuck you. Fear of no man. But I still cringe in fear that my ex-wife will be angry at me. It's like <laughs> an ingrained decade long. Well, I'm about to say, it's been so damn long, you're just kind of like... Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to be mad. I'm like, you're Carl, it like doesn't matter if she's mad at you. It doesn't fucking matter. Carl's doesn't over matter here. Not Ludwig, not Ludwig Von. You're still going to be angry text. You're still... It, it's, it is who she is, dude. Well, yeah, I know. I'm like, I, I, uh, it's like, I shouldn't let it affect me. I'm like, no. why? She doesn't get... that six months ago. I don't like 
give a fuck what she's doing. I really don't care. It does do you know? Be happy. Go be happy. Go be happy. Go be happy. Okay, you know? and she's a woman. She doesn't have that mindset. I don't understand right, why. But see, that's a that's see that's you, the man thing is like you know at this point it's like just go be happy. Go be happy. It'll be fine. Yeah. That's, go be happy. That's what decent guys feel about their yeah. crazy exes. Yeah. Just okay, please be happy. Just go, or, or 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 good exes. Any exes. Any exes. Yeah. <laughs> go be I happy. Comment. I was like, wait, does that make me the crazy ex if I comment on that statement? Oh wait, I don't know. Well, probably. Well, it depends on what your comment is. What's your comment? Is it go be happy? The ass hat. And I wish he would do that. Just say go be happy instead of. Oh. Well, yeah, no, yeah, he should say that. He should. He well, he Especially. should, but I said that I did preface it with decent guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. But you said crazy exes, which would make me the crazy ex. It, well, yeah, but is he saying go be happy? No, so no. He's, he, you know, he's the craziest. Oh, I wish he would. You'd be happy if he was happy, because then if he was happy, he wouldn't I be a dead. I would be. See? That means you're the decent guy. Well, yeah, in this case, pretty girl, much. sir, ma'am, whatever. Okay. And stuff. One of them things. Uh, <laughs> back in the gym, Planet Fitness. It's fucking awesome. I'm loving Planet Fitness. It's truly 24-7. It's $10 a month. Oh, that's yes. not bad at all. That's incredibly good. Uh, $20 if you want the deluxe package. The deluxe package just says... Um, a happy ending? No, because no. I would join, because that'd be great. <laughs> <It'd> be like, <laughs> I'm just going to lay here and uh, count, call it. Uh, you're working you out my cup. You can and you can s- get that fake massage. Yeah, on look at, just, just look at me. And say you yeah, can tan. Exactly. Just, just go ahead and say that. You remember in Blade Three when they had the fucking <laughs> the UV, UV bombs, guns, yeah. and the vampire was like, ah! and wherever it flashed, they okay. were burned horribly. But my see-through Irish ass went and tanned in their thing, and I was very severely burnt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He opened it to show it to me. He goes, "This is special pink light, sir, sir." And I was a pile of ashes with clothes. <laughs> and I'm like, "Turn it off." <laughs> Melting. He sprinkled some hemoglobin on me. I came back and said thanks. But yeah, ten dollars, dude, it's great. I just I go right around a muck. I feel terrific. I'm. I listen to different stuff. Sometimes it's uh, World of Warcraft uh, soundtrack stuff. Sometimes Britney. Sometimes it's Britney Spears. Uh, well, some of her go. older stuff I'm is good. I'm not gonna let it go. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not. It was just it's like, oh, I'm so toxic. Yeah. <laughs> no, Get no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Get no, he's swallowed. definitely listening to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, brother. Do you feel that? Oops, I did it again, brother. He's definitely listening to Baby One More Time. Yeah, it's Baby One More Time because I thought it was such a <laughs> I thought it was such a sweet song and it has a very. And then he saw the fucking video. Yeah, then I'm like, oh, my God, she's like 15. Ooh, how are people turned on by this? Oh, my God. Um, have you seen my exes? Oh, how can <laughs> she be? How can she be singing about Some men love? like them looking really young. Once but that young, she's like, like 15 really young. and then she's six, 16 in that video. It's horrible. No, she's okay, like my age, was, though. So and if that was know. legal. It doesn't, legal doesn't make it moral or appealing. And I like them dirty in their immoral. 30s anyway, but. Oh, I am immoral. <laughs> and I am in my 30s. Well, there you go. So you are dirty <laughs> in your 30s. Yeah, I was about to say, we're, we're kind of arguing my case here. Yeah, <laughs> well, hey, wait a minute. Oh, never mind. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that and uh, I listened to Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack. <laughs> Shut Randall. up. It's the weirdest <laughs> fucking workout mix I've ever heard. And also in that same mix is uh, from Beauty and the Beast, be our guest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can feel you pulling away from me, but you got to bear with me on this. No. If you're on a treadmill, the the uh, do, 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 yeah, do, do, I mean, it's upbeat as hell. So. Do, 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 no, do, I'm listening do, to Eminem and Nonpoint and Kanye West, actually. I'm on Kanye the West. Look, look, I'm going to let you finish, Stronger. but I just want to let you know yeah, Carl's yeah. the best podcaster this year. <laughs> oh, very nice, Pete. Very nice. Come on. That was, <laughs> well, that was a you, look. That was funny. <laughs> oh, she just had like that Taylor Swift look like what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did get a little Tate off Swiddler on us. <laughs> oh. oh, but I like Taylor Swift. She has that one song. Please yes, don't. she does. What? I suppose. Brittany, I'm going to give you Taylor now. But it has that great song with that that awesome video. With the goat screaming? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that might have been an internet huh? remix. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think that's actually a Taylor video. No, I'm talking about Shake It Off. It's the, it's the I, best song ever. I know you like that You and my song. little brother, man. My little that brother helped loves get me through my divorce, song. man. That was just the best. I'm I like, remember. no, shake it off, shake it off. We've had this conversation. I remember. Yeah. I'm going to avoid it. And I know how lame it makes me. <laughs> it does. <laughs> a little but bit. I just shake it off, and I'm good again. I, uh, <laughs> so many comments. Oh, internet. Yeah, I'm with you on this one. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> that and work and uh, stuff. 
and things, which I guess everything else is like a mixed media review I have, thing. Uh, I have some crazy shit that I've seen in Philly if you want to hear some of that. Yes. Oh, my God. I love crazy shit in Philly. So, uh, yeah. I just cause decided I right now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, since my last car was explodified and, and gone and things. That was horrible. Um, that was messed up. What moving last car. to the city made it so I didn't have to worry about a car. because yeah, everywhere is connected by some kind of train. Yeah, because their public transportation in Philadelphia is amazing. Unless you're on a train, then well, you uh, die. That was Amtrak. Uh, but that's still but don't derail my train of thought. Oh, I didn't mean to derail it. I'm sorry. Please, by all means. Jesus, we're just going to crash right through all my stories. Yeah, here. it was a real tragedy. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's get this train wreck of a podcast on. Yeah, let's get it back on the rails. Uh, so, uh, yes. Just a I time for Memorial Day. I, making uh, jokes about people dying and <laughs> dying stuff. and shit. That's, that was a, after that happened, I'm like, I need to podcast because I got so much too soon to happen. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, the last car hasn't finished rolling yet. He's <laughs> cracking jokes. Pretty much. Like, the next day I was in work say, making making some jokes, and everybody's looking to be like, wow, dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck your Too NYPD, soon. NYFD. Podcasters are your true first survivors, uh, first responders. We are there We're to make the things scene. better. Uh, but, yeah, um, most of, actually, most of the interesting shit has happened on the train. So uh, it's been a mix of, like, uh, so there's a class of people that uh, exist on the Philadelphia subways, probably most subways, and I call them the uh, uh, the people that give uh, the homeless sermons. Oh, it's good to have those. Yeah, and well, I go to church. not because they're religious or anything, but because it all starts the same way. Uh, excuse me, uh, sorry for uh, interrupting your guys' commute, but uh, if you have any change or maybe food you could spare, something to help me out. That's a sermon. Times. I just call it that because they're getting up in oh, front of people. Okay. Just kinda, and it's always the same spiel. Uh, like maybe with a little flavor added in here yeah. and there. I was in the military or blah, blah, blah whatever <laughs> happened. Like, hey, now, hey, now. Some, hey, let some I served like, in Rome's 13th Legion. I've been doing yeah, this for a while. Yeah, you get, you get a lot of weird shit. So, I mean, that's a thing. And you kind of expect that. And that's yeah. okay. Uh, I don't really mind that. Um, so, like, there's one guy I see on the subway going home, like, all the time. Like, same dude on there. Uh-huh. Uh, so either he's, like, an expert panhandler or whatever. But I'll give... Like, if I have any extra lunch left over, I'll give it to him. I don't give a fuck. Uh-huh. Like, I'm a pretty generous guy yeah. as far as that goes. I don't give anybody money. No, but Normally, extra food, I go... If somebody big. asks me, like, if somebody's panhandling out in front of the Wawa near my job, like, oh, I got any change? I'll be like, shit, I was going to ask you for some change. Yeah, Damn. that's the way to be. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll give somebody, like, if I got a sandwich or some bag of chips or something. Yeah, you're not going to eat it. You're like, here, here I help have that. Have that. So that's the thing. One day, uh, Friday, going into work, there was this fucking dance crew on the train, like these like urban dance guys, like and that was their thing. They would be on a train and like do fucking break dancing down the aisles and shit. Oh, like shit. it was impressive. It was cool as hell. I was like, damn, if I knew how to phone better, I'd have like recorded it to try to put it on the on the on our show. On the YouTube's. <laughs> and uh, so that was cool. Um, there were one night, uh, real late at night during the week, the subways don't run. Uh, it's a shuttle bus instead, just a regular old bus that runs the same route, just, you know, not above ground. ground. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so one night, it's like 1.30 in the morning, and you get the, the fucking bar crowd in the middle of the week, which is usually hilarious. Mm. Most of the time, it's either people coming home from work or third shifters going to work or, like, you know, and everybody's chill. Work-related. But this one night, this fucking 105-year-old black woman gets on the bus. She is wrecked. This woman is drunk <laughs> as fuck. Holy shit. And well, thought, if you're that old, I mean, fuck. Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. Grandma and grandma was fucking twerking it and, like, swinging on the pole. Twerking it? Uh, Holy she shit. She was, like, grinding up on this young fucking Mexican guy. Dude, it was Grandma's so funny. Holy shit. Oh, it was hilarious. I was just like, wow. Um, I'm over here like laughing, but trying not to make eye contact because I didn't want her to be grinding on me either. Yeah, just it's like, like <laughs> easy dances with Gray Bush. <laughs> 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 Take it back just a step. I don't mean to hate or anything. It's just you know. Uh, but that shit was funny. There's 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 a lot of funny. I'm only interested shit in people like one tenth like your age. How to change cars. I was about to say I'm getting to that one. So mm-hmm. one day I get on the subway. It's like Friday. Yeah, so it's all the weird shit happens on Fridays. Um, I get in the subway, like normal, and I'm sitting there. So I sit down. I'm like my usual type of chair. And there's like a woman and her daughter across the way. And then there's this black guy. Mm -hmm. And it's not the fact that he was black. 
it's the fact that this guy was the only way to describe him was slimy. Not because he looked like physically slimy. Not like he was covered in slime, but just the way he moved was an oozing type of manner. Oh. And it was still cold enough and rainy, and I was wearing my trench coat. So I get on the train, and he goes, "Oh, you crazy?" And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yes, I, I am little. crazy." And then he starts talking to me, and then he fucking like, and I'm just like, "Okay, whatever, guy." And I'm like, kind of like, just doing that yeah, sort you're of you're like putting I'm that vibe out. Really, I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm gonna not be polite, but I don't want to talk. In in what you have to say because you're fucking weird looking. Yeah. But I'm being very wary and I always carry knives. So <laughs> you have a like, smart move. You know. So then, and this is the only way to describe it, because he, he was sitting on the other side of the train. He oozes his fucking way over into the seat. Like I'm sitting as I'm facing you like this yeah. in the seats that face, you know, front or back. And then, but I like to sit in the corner one. So there's another set of chairs that face the doors like right in front of me. And there's like a pole right here. Um, unfortunately, this is a radio show. But if you've ever been on a subway, you'd like, you know what it looks like. Yeah. So he oozes over to the seat, like, right in front of me and starts talking about, like, oh, yeah. Like, uh, he, like he reminded me of fucking Frosted Mini Me, all wiggly oh, and shit. Wiggly? Oh, wiggly? Um, and he's like, oh, yeah, you know, I was like, you crazy, but, like, I sell, like, weed and pills. And, like, he reaches into his sock, pulls out this, like, couple $20 bills. And he's like, you know, I got a little money, but this ain't nothing and stuff. Then I, that's when I start, like, actually getting a look at him because now he's closer. And he's... Most some of the more ghetto gangster type folk might droop their pants a touch, right? You know, well, yeah, there's, that, a, there's some underwear levels of do- droopage. Yeah. yeah, well, this guy had uh, no underwear on, and his literal ass was just hanging out yeah. of his fucking sweatpants. Oh. And then he starts moving over to like and put his hand on my knee, and I was like, "All right, uh, you're in my personal yeah. bubble, and I gotta go." I look <laughs> over to the like woman and bubble. her child. I'm like, "Sorry, ladies." <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I like I was I was. Almost, I was like, if I stab him now, <laughs> this is not going to end well for anybody. He probably won't feel it, and he'll make off with my knife. Yeah, well, that, and I didn't feel like getting fucking chlamydia by killing somebody. I was just like, I probably already got AIDS now anyway. Uh, oh, jeez, so, uh, Dude, it was yeah. just gross. I'm like, you, ugh, I need to go take three more showers and burn my pants. Thanks, yeah. guy. Because uh, he's like, uh, oh, I was just like... Totally. Who's glad they don't have to ride on the subway? Show of hands. I don't yeah, get. Right? Yes. No I don't thanks. get grossed out by much, but that did it. I was yeah. like, yeah, nope. And I've never changed cars before because I've never. I mean, I've had, but I've been in cars, subway cars, where fights have broken out. I've been where like people are getting violent, people are drunk, or people are just being like loud and obnoxious. Yeah. But or there's cars themselves. full of fucking. <laughs> I was going home from work on a Saturday once, and at six in the uh, in the evening, so. All the transportation is packed. I get on a subway car. It's full of fucking kids. And not like high school kids, like parents with eight of their fucking five-year-olds or like all Whoa. going somewhere. And I look up. Sure enough, I'm in car 666. Oh, <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, it's my own personal hell. <laughs> but still, didn't feel like changing cars. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I hate that type of situation when it's all crowded and there's lots of kids and shit. But this fucking this slime human, ball, I was like, inside oh, out used condom gross. of a man yeah, comes over. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. You're just like, oh, you're so gross. You're just like, <laughs> I'm out. You're not appealing in any oh, way. Oh, yeah, that was gnarly. So, uh, yeah, so that was that. Uh, any other weird shit happened on the, on the subway or anything? I don't know. I've only heard gunshots once. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> only once on my block, I should say. I only heard gunshots. Oh, okay. I'm like in block. the subway. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. Uh, no, that so would have been bad. There. Yeah, I lived. Uh, I live on the other side, other end of my block, at 20th and uh, over there. I just probably shouldn't throw out my address on the fucking internet. Uh. Probably not. Uh, but at the other end of my block is um, is a bar, uh-huh. so we get a lot of bar crowd uh, at odd hours of the morning. Yeah. But I'm always up, so I don't oh, care. Yeah, so. Like- uh, Keeping it's, me up, says Pete. Never. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's to the people, the fucking business downstairs that opens their doors at nine. And the door is. <laughs> uh, at first, I thought they were assholes slamming the door all the time. But then I went down and met them, like because uh, when I finally got the FiOS installed, uh, I was helping the guy install it and met the people downstairs. And it turns out the door is just fucked up and slams itself. Oh. So they're not being assholes at all. It's just the door. It's is just the door up. itself is is oh. jank ball. Wow, that's a giant type of. Mosquito looking Mosquito thing. Mosquito looking thing. Mayfly. But, uh, so, oh, but. Okay, it's on your head. The, uh, <laughs> turns out Honestly. people, the people downstairs that run the business are actually really fucking cool. And, um, so that's like, that, that's actually the only thing that bothers me is, is that door slamming. And, and then yesterday, no. Yeah, yesterday morning, um, 
to like every now and again we'll get some people arguing or fighting, not like fist fighting or anything, like physical fighting, oh, but like we'll yelling. get people yelling at yeah. each other out on the street. And it was like two people like cursing at each other for a little bit, and I was just like, "You guys shut up!" I'm like, "It's nine in the morning. It's way too early for this. Be pissed, at, or just do it someplace." Yeah, else. Who the hell or argues at nine in the morning? But the best part is, is there's like this crazy fat guy mm-hmm. that lives near around me somewhere, and uh, one day he's standing at the corner, just yelling. And I thought he was yelling at somebody because he, he was just the what he was just like, "Oh, this fucking bitch." Fucking bitch, you owe me money. Bring me my fucking money. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. Fucking right now. He's laying uh, down the law. Like, yeah. yeah, he was freaking out. And I thought he was, like, on the phone or yelling at somebody. I look out the window, and no, it's just some fat guy red in the face <laughs> screaming about shit. I'm like, holy fuck. This is hilarious. Man, what moment of his and life then, is so it then he starts, like, pacing really? up and down the fucking sidewalk screaming about shit. And I was like, that's funny. He's probably just a married man. Could be. Just Could be. Walking out of the house, just I'm then gonna go out and get some milk and eggs. A couple days later, Fuck. a couple days later, on the other side of the street, another fat guy, a different fat guy, started screaming about. Uh, he started yelling about, "Hey, you stole my money!" To some woman, I don't know what the deal was, but she was like, "Nah," like they were fighting. So he started. He started screaming, "Help, police! Help, police! She took my money!" I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? That got me interested. I'm like yeah. looking out the window, like, what the fuck is? It? Should have yelled down. They all steal your money. It's okay. <laughs> By varying yeah, degrees. Welcome to having a relationship, you idiot. Welcome to Earth, motherfucker. Is this your first day with a dick? So, uh, so that was pretty awesome. I like every now and then. Wow, that was sexist. Really funny. Sorry about bit. that. Uh, yeah, listen. Well, you laughed a little bit. I, I laughed. <laughs> Because she knows it's true. Because listen, when the time comes, I'm still no, no. You, you got to pay money, for yeah. it one way or another, and, and you, well, you should. Because I mean, the vagina. I think I earned my money. Well, yeah, I, no, you earned more. He he'll never make enough. No. Yeah, yeah, that's true. To uh, to pay you what you've earned. These two are so sweet. Aw, Pete, we're sweet. Try not to let that get out. Like, I have, uh, I, I have sorry. an image I to uphold. I let that slip on the internet. My mistake. It's okay. I'm a, That's I'm right. A We're on a different stuff. channel than the gaming channel. That's okay. a, the, I promised uh, that we're I, not on that secret out there. I have to be the asshole in Forge Dragons because Alan's too nice. Oh. Well, <laughs> it's just be your designation. You're always, you're always that cheeky guy. That's true. I'm the nice guy. This and is true. it gets you nowhere. Really but too. I'm still the nice guy. <laughs> Love you and all, but. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm too nice. I've been called too nice. You kind of are. I've been called too nice. Carl, uh, too nice Henry. <laughs> yes. They call him too nice Henry because he's too nice, too nice. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. But uh, that was so stupid. <laughs> but he's not too funny, too funny. <laughs> or too smart, too yeah. smart. <laughs> nice recovery, oh, Carl. Nice recovery. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but uh, yeah, well, golly. But yeah, so it's, you know, it's fun stuff. Yeah. And again, everybody, when I, before I moved, oh, you're so dangerous. Fuck you. Yeah. It's fucking nice there. Everybody I've run into, like, uh, with the odd exception of slimy, gross, <laughs> inside-out kind <laughs> of guy. Slimy, viral, venereal disease, man. Yeah, other, other than that, even, like, the fucking homeless people are nice. Like, everybody's fucking cool up there to me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe they like you. That maybe could you got, be. like, a natural... I mean, the natural well, I mean, and that's the thing, and I've talked to a lot of people who've lived up there for a long time, and they're like, you don't walk around like you're afraid. Like, it's those people that get fucking targeted and shit, because you just walk around like you belong here. And I'm like, yeah, because I fucking do. Well, I, yeah, I, I feel mean, comfortable in this environment. Like, it, well, you live there, so you, you do belong here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it's kind of the, how it goes. It, it, I don't know. I'll nice. tell you who doesn't belong here. Fucking shoobies. I'm so tired. Thank <laughs> you. Fucking shoobies. Dude. What if I told I, you... <laughs> the yeah, shoobies the, aren't stuck in shore traffic. They are, are the shore, shore traffic. traffic. Yeah, that's uh, what I felt bad about today. I was like, fuck, I'm about to be a real big hypocrite. Uh, in Philly going to the beach. Damn it. <laughs> fucking can't stand it. Yeah, it but just, you were behind uh, Jersey Tags. You're good. Oh, yeah. You're covered. Yeah, yeah. You are just you could just be somewhere but in But now that I live down the shore, hmm. Yeah. Dude, it's just, it's not so bad because I can, uh, I only have to deal with it a little bit where I'm at right now. But I can, I like, I can see the people going south on fifty five, getting on forty seven to go three forty seven. Yeah, why do an they endless all... parade, endless <laughs> parade of, uh, of no, just I fucking. No, I want to know why they balls. all get off on forty nine. Where the what? There was a fucking like three mile fucking backup on fifty five. I was parked. On oh yeah, 55. that was ridiculous. For what? Yeah, well, yeah, because uh, forty nine is the other way to go. Okay, well it's dumb if I'm sitting on fifty five. Because then you can just go down Egg Harbor Township Road, and, and or then, you so can go down forty nine. They're backed up there. They're backed up where fifty five turns into forty seven, and then they're backed up for about. 
a mile anytime one of the, the no driving minivans full of fucking mom and the kids isn't paying attention and is careens off into the soft sandy <laughs> yeah. fucking mediums because they're all it's all soft sandy shit there because yes. they're just like now you'll never be able to turn around <laughs> and then when you get down my end the three fucking lights back to back that you're backed up 10 miles yeah, you're, yeah, you're no, screwed I figured out back roads now fuck that I'm a uh, but I'm always going north in the day because I'm going to work and yeah. south it's like one in the morning and it's, there's no, the yeah. oh they were, they're out there today what the fuck they were yeah. going back, I guess. Well, yeah, that's like we were coming down, and there's like a bajillion people going the other way, and I'm like, you know, we got one more day off, right? Yeah, I, I don't get it. I'm dude. not stuck in that's the traffic, okay, so I don't give a fuck. Tomorrow, hopefully, we won't be stuck in traffic. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Hopefully, not going anywhere tomorrow. What a fuck. But mess. now that I again know back roads, that's how we're back going. roads are good. Back roads are nice. But uh, speaking of back roads, oh my, we're gonna go back road in into a little uh, segment. Which yeah. covers, you know, different movies Shit and that we've things seen. and stuff and Shit things. That we've played. Which we like to call Mixed Media Review. Whether it's movies, TV shows, video games, or books, we have the half assed commentary you crave. It's Mixed Media Review. Yes, that's right, Mixed Media Review. <laughs> we'll watch it, we'll listen to it, we'll read about it, we'll jerk off to it, and we'll play it, and then we'll talk about it. Oh, I never thought about doing a porn review section. Hmm. Yeah, oh, wow, that could be something. Anyway, anyway. I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I watch the same type of porn. It'll just be one episode. Cheetah really go. She's saying no, 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 but the cheetah's saying yes, 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 meow. So uh, <laughs> it was the meow that made that funny. Wow. But uh, yes, it was. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I've seen a couple movies. Uh, I saw a movie on the Netflix called Snowpiercer. I've heard good things about that. What did you think? I, okay, I, I wait. Did I hear good things or mixed things? I don't know. But well, the the description of it, because isn't that when they're on the train? Yeah, the description of it sounds going hokey from as DC shit. DC to fucking New York and it derails or no, oh, wait, no, no not was, at all. No, no, no you're you're you're, that was a loose no, you're thinking of something <laughs> that happened like behind where you work. No, <laughs> uh, it's a future where they try to fix global warming and they f- in, turn it into incredible global cooling. And there's this fucking uh, survivors are all on this uh, train called the Snowpiercer, which uh, right. it's powered by a perpetual engine. It takes one huge lap around the globe on a yearly cycle. Oh, okay. This uh, Ken Reeves. Nope. Uh, has the guy who plays Chris Evans, who plays oh, Captain yeah, Chris America. Evans, okay. But he he has he looks very um, the uh, Batman Christian Bale, Christian very Bale. Christian yeah. Baleish because he's everyone looks dirty and filthy in this. Um, it's got uh, fucking Ed Harris in it, John Hurt, Tilda Swinton, Jamie Bell, Octavia Spencer. Um, a lot of surprising. List, yeah. 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 So I'm looking at this. I'm like, wow, this isn't like a sci-fi movie. You know, this is interesting. Yeah. And I had nothing else to do. And I said, well, let me just put it on the fucking Netflix, see what happens. Yeah, fuck it. It's actually really good. Huh. It's, uh, it's, it's sort of like a, it uses the train to represent society. But yeah. not in a uh, fucking Elysium retarded sort of way. Not a ham fisted type. Yeah, of, and it yeah. sort of you, it sort of slowly brings you into the reality. So you're kind, and it takes it up by degrees. Okay. So you're kind of like getting pulled into it. Terrific acting. The acting makes this. The effects were pretty decent, but the acting sells it. So when you finally get to the end of it, you're just like you're invested in the characters. You're nice. invested yeah. in the story. And uh, you're you're genuinely rooting for the good guys. You can almost understand the bad guys. There was a lot of clever writing and directing, great visuals huh. in it. Uh, a terrific, terrific fight necessary for the story. Fight scenes taking place. Uh, it was it was it was really good. It was surprising. So if you if you got nothing else to do, it's on Netflix for free. Uh, check it out. It's not bad. That's, that's good. Uh, and I saw, I saw, of course, saw the Avengers: Age of Ultron. Yep. Uh, it wasn't bad. I it, liked it. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, comic book movie, but yeah. but uh, had lots of clever banter in it, which yeah, the I enjoyed. Was good. Um, language. 
Yeah, I, dude, I love that. It, 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 I was just like, oh, you, 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 you win. You win this I mean, round. Yeah, say what you want about Joss Whedon. He is really good at the ensemble cast because that's yeah. kind of his jam. And, and he pulled it off. It, a couple, it works really well. They kind of work on the, on, the, on the building up the characters a little bit. I mean, it's comic book, but there are a few like, moments in it where there's yeah. some drama. Well, and the other thing that I'm looking forward to is when it releases on Blu-ray and DVD and all that stuff, because the original cut of that movie was three hours and 40 minutes. Oh, I'm totally going to watch it then. Yeah, so like, the director's I wasn't fatigued cut, you know, by it well, at all. Yeah, and, the, and a lot of people, a lot of the, one of the bigger criticisms that people had with it was that it felt rushed and a little jank ball here and there, but that's because they had to cut it down so much. Yeah. So with the director's cut, and, and I've already heard that when it is released to buy... It will be the director's cut. Like we'll have oh, a longer good. cut of the movie to watch, so we'll actually probably get an even better story to it. I need like a little more Ultron. It seemed like Ultron he, came. He seemed Here's like Ultron. It was an afterthought. Yeah. yeah, it's like whoa, hold up a damn minute here. It would have been more interesting if now again, you know, there was a lot of different story arcs going on. Yeah, there was a lot going on. They were expertly woven together. We, you know, knows his shit. It just and it probably would have been hard to stick one more in there, but it did feel sort of. Like they were, sh- it's like, we're going to make a suit arm around the world. Brief montage. Okay, here it is. Let's go to a party. And all of a sudden he's here. And all of a sudden he hate it, it. The motivation of him hating Tony Stark, because it seemed like that was the angle they were going for. Like, ah, yeah. don't compare me to him kind of thing was a neat angle. And I never thought of it, but they didn't do anything to support that in his character. The development. Yeah. Of well, they, you know, yeah. like have him start off as an, an experimental AI like Jarvis sort of thing. That was discarded for being too whatever that, right. that got scrapped and reused, or you know what I mean. They're, it just felt like they could have done something a little creative with that. But again, I'm picking nits. It was a really good movie. It was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was exciting. Uh, fucking uh, Hawkeye was actually useful. Yes, yeah. he did like things. He wasn't just guy with arrows. You know? Right, he wasn't mind controlled for the first half of the movie. <laughs> yeah, which I, again, I'm not like a Hawkeye fan or anything. It's just when you have an actor that can sell a performance like they have for him. Yeah. It just Which, seems silly not to use him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because he, uh, what's his face? Jeremy Renner is really turning into yeah. a really good actor. Oh, he's, he's done great shit, dude. He was great in uh, the movie where he's the demo guy. Her Locker. Her Locker. Uh, he was terrific in the movie where he plays serial killer. Uh, the one that fucking tried to turn him into sex zombies. Uh uh, I don't think I've seen this one. Uh, no, no, no. Come on. He was he, a real live serial killer. Dahmer. He played Dahmer oh, in the okay, movie did he? Dahmer. Oh. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, dude, that's, it's fucking crazy, that movie. It's an indie film they put together, but it's like super effective, brilliantly hmm. put together. And it just sells the creepiness of Dahmer. <laughs> on, and he, he fucking, he, he nails it. Without him, that movie would just have been not interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you have him and then like, they're like mind controlled and then that, as like, that's, they use him in this, which was great. Yeah. You know? uh, I liked Captain America and Iron Man. I liked them fucking kind of arguing a little bit. Yeah. Which was cool. See, all they're setting up Civil War. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what that is. But, uh, oh, they set up so many of the next movies in that, in that yeah. film. Like they set up Civil War, they set up uh, Ragnarok, uh, Infinity War, clearly. Well, I like that, though. I think it's it makes it feel like it's it t- one it big series. It ties the entire Marvel Universe together, yeah. which is what the DC movies are failing at horribly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's hope that with the next one, because, I mean, he kind of has to, the next uh, Batman versus Superman thing, he kind of has to do it right, or else... Yeah, it's going to there's a lot fail. of things going against them uh, in that movie. I like I like the trailers as incredibly brief as they are. Uh, it's yeah. pretty cool, and I think, I'll watch it. I'm not saying I'm yeah. not going to watch that one. I, I liked I kind of like the Man of Steel for all of its many many faults. I kind of like the idea of exploring the character of Superman. That was kind of interesting to me. Uh, yeah, I liked a lot of the takes they took on it. And they there was a lot of pointless destruction like <laughs> Superman's like I'll fight you in the city and just decimates it yeah Dude, Superman would never do that she'd be like oh my god the city's getting wrecked let's un- he'd, let's he'd rather run away or something yeah. yeah he'd rather run the fuck away than, than fucking see innocent people so it kind of get hurt it just didn't seem to make much sense in that but uh, yeah saw that uh, alright I saw that Tomorrowland cute kids film whatever if you got kids take him to see it uh, okay. I talked my youngest there and when you buy the ticket, they uh, comes free with the ticket. You get a little pin, 
a Tomorrowland pen. Aww. And my youngest thought that was cute. Oh, I thought um, Tomorrowland was like an EDM festival. What? Well, I don't know what that is. It's a dance music techno. Oh, no, no. It's thing. a Disney film they put out oh. uh, with George Clooney and other people in it. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, oh, and it's got the guy who plays House. Oh, uh, but, uh, oh somebody Laurie. Yeah, Laurie. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Who never made the connection between him playing the part of Percy in Black Adder <laughs> until then someone pointed out on the internet. I said, that can't be true. And then I'm like, holy oh, fuck, yeah, it's so true. It is. Wow, wow, wow. Talk about range, big, right? Big difference, yeah. Fuck. But, uh, I mean, it's a cute... I, if you're an adult, don't go to see it because you'll be like, nah. <laughs> but when she, there was a magical moment when she saw, like, cause, you know, you touch it, the pins on the thing are given to people who have merit in the real world. And if you touch it, you see, like, a hologram of where the city is and shit. Uh-huh. And, and so she saw that. She's like, whoa, put it on, put it on. So I, got, I had to pin it on her shirt and everything like Aww. that. It was so cute. Oh, <laughs> miss my baby monkey. Uh, and I went to go see um, Poltergeist. Oh, Today, this is this is the relevant one because all this stuff's kind of old because I made these notes like fucking three weeks ago. But uh, I went to go see Poltergeist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, directed by Gil Kennan, uh, David Lindsay Aber did the screenplay, and of course Steven Spielberg did the original story. Right. Um, Was he an executive producer on this one or something? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Sam Raimi is uh, is uh, produces it as well. Oh. So I'm like. Raimi Spielberg. Did I ever think when Evil Dead Two came out on video that and yeah, you know, those two would be in the same they, billing? In the same billing, yeah. Let alone in the same movie. Was, yeah, but if it's just production, eh. it's still exciting. I was just happy to see Raimi finally <laughs> get his comeuppance. Uh, so excited about that, and I'm like, well, I don't know, but it's got uh, Sam Rockwell in it. Oh, okay. Moon and yeah. just a host of other movies. Which yeah, he he's good. is he's he's great. He's fucking great. So I'm like, you know, I don't know. Oh, and uh, the other guy, uh, Jared Harris, he played the uh, German guy, uh, David Nathan Jones or something, on uh, Fringe. He played a bad guy on Fringe and oh, did like a right. really. I probably know him if I saw him. He's been a Europeanish looking bad guy <laughs> <laughs> in many movies, but he's got like a certain thing to him, which is cool. When you see him, you'll go, oh, it's that guy. Yeah. Uh, so he brings a certain thing to it. Uh, you know, it really wasn't that bad. I hmm. went expecting schlock. Yeah. But I was like, oh, Sam Rockwell, eh, I'll give it a day in court. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Because the original one's real good. Yeah, the original one was like a game changer, the way it just fucking yeah. took the supernatural and just brought it literally to people's homes oh, yeah. in a way. Uh was cool. The, the fact that it was a haunted house that was like a new house was a whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, it's a whole know, new spooky idea. Spooky old house, but they could happen in a new house. That meant it could happen to anyone. Really made people fucking invest in, in the story. Uh, this one sort of goes the route of somehow, because it's like right near power lines and shit, yeah. uh, sort of thing that that's somehow involved because the house kind of has like a charge to it. Okay. But they're not like, they never, they don't go the hokey route of trying to say that's directly, exactly what's causing it. They don't do that, which is kind of cool. Mm. Well, that's good, yeah, when they try to put that hokey new age spin yeah, on it. Yeah, when shit. they try to ex- over explain shit too much if, if, in a short period of time, it, it's kind of stupid. Yeah. So they just sort of, there is, the, there was, uh, they say, oh yeah, in the 90s there was a graveyard here, but they moved them like, you know, fucking. 20, mi- 20 miles that way or 20 minutes that way so you can go visit your loved ones there or whatever. Uh, so that's like kind of like a nod to the original. There's a few nods to the original. Yeah. The rope uh, through the ceiling thing. Okay. Uh, I heard there was no uh, old lady exorcist thing. No, the old lady's the uh, Jared Harris. Oh, they he's, made, he's they made the her a dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was kind of neat. I, 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 the new spins they put on it were cool. All right. Because uh, that was a lot of the concerns I heard going yeah. into it. No, like, they, they, eh. they, the new ideas they, they put on it, I really liked. Uh, they had uh, the chick listening to the iPod, and like she's walking around the house. She's hearing like, like weird sounds. Yeah. And she's following them into a garage where something spooky happens. I don't want to ruin it. But that was like kind of a new thing, that she's listening to her earbuds. Yeah. And it's part of this paranormal of experiencing the, uh, thing. Rather than just hearing the spooky the shit. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, they kind of had that too, but that was that was really creepy. The- 
Uh, they, I was about to say that they would have had to have some TV nonsense in there. Oh yeah, sort they, of a thing. They had that in there. Uh, Did any small children get sucked into a closet, or was that Poltergeist two? Yeah, no, that was Poltergeist one, and yeah, that happened. All right, it was. Uh, and the closet was pretty fun. It, there was some creepiness to it. I where it what it didn't have that the first one had. The first one had a slower buildup with the yeah. paranormal activity happening. See, I did hit you it. Did Not it. with my head, though. Not I hit my head. <laughs> there is still time. We're talking about her mic stand. She's been prophesizing that I was going to hit it with my face or my head, but I just hit it with <laughs> it my hand. would have been entertaining. I've been just over gesticulating and smashed into it. Um, <laughs> no, I hit my face. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I gesticulated too much and it hit you in the face. I'm sorry. I hate it when that happens. Well, you know. Just get all, get all excited and backed up. Not in the eyes and not, not in the hair. Not in the hair. And you're okay. Right. Because, you know, combing it out, it just makes it worse. Well, you just got to wash it. Yeah, and that's like a whole shower and that's like a whole thing. A whole new level of commitment to a house guest that you've had sex with. Or at least ejaculated all over. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, back to uh, the poltergeist. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it, it didn't seem like, it, it seemed like a little rushed with the paranormal activity. Uh, like, it was okay, slower in the first film. Fast. Do you remember, like, when it just started with little odd things here and there? Yeah, like a thing would fall over. Or, yeah, you know. and that was weird. The chairs were kind of like, if you put a chair there, it slid forward, and they put the girl there, and yeah, then she and they slid thought forward. it was fun at first. Yeah, it yeah. seemed yeah. fun and, and, and interesting. And it slowly, and it slowly turned, turned to scary, the point where yeah. things got worse and worse, and then the child's lost, and that's when things got seriously sinister. Where this one, there was like one or two small incidents that were kind of cute, just the kids knew about it, and then it, it went straight into fucking danger mode. So I felt that was a little rushed. Uh, I mean, I understand that audiences don't have attention spans anymore, Right. Yeah. So you can't just show them quality the whole time. You need to fucking get to it. It didn't have the stupid, startling, cheap thrills that you'll get from like your paranormal activity. No, like jump movies. scare type of bullshit. Not a lot of that. It mm. went for atmospheric builds, and then there was like a rah, it scared the shit out of you. But it was creeping you out up to that point. It wasn't just rah, ah, ah. Oh, it's just a cat. And then you turn around. And it's boogity boogity boogity. Right. It was none of that boogity boogity. It was <laughs> it was some pretty creepy fucked up shit. Some head trip mind fuck shit. That's which cool. was kind of cute. Uh, and again, strong performances by Rockwell and Jared and uh, Rosemary DeWitt. She played the parapsychologist person who was in charge of their group. Okay. And apparently she was married to Jared Harris, who's the psychic. Fam he is actually a famous psychic guy from TV. Yeah. Who has right. a hokey show, but that's just to hide the fact that shit's real. Uh, uh, yes. And he just wanted to make money from the real work he does. Uh, so he was like, they kind of split up. They were married and they sort of split up. So you had that sort of thing happening, which is they, they stuck it in there and it was cute the way they did it. And it made for an interesting dynamic. So I forgave it. Because it made for banter between All right, yeah, because I was about to say, because a lot of times, uh, like, and that was a, a positive I had to say about Godzilla, too, was the human love story there wasn't jammed in there to make, like, forced yeah, to he make has you to love feel somebody. more human, no. to, have, to feel, have a better connection with the audience or whatever. It was just like, it was there, and you knew it was a thing, and it was yeah. a motivational factor for this guy to be going yeah. the way he's going. But a lot of times you see that shit in movies like, oh, you know, there's a male protagonist and a female protagonist and clearly they have to get together to get together it's Hollywood to and you know yeah it, it otherwise the gays will win yeah oh we, you know we can't have the gays win yeah oh no I think the gays have won if they're gay they, they win because they're doing what it is they want to do yeah pretty much should be but uh yeah, so I I, I would have went more. Here comes my movie cuntness. I would have meant more. Yep. Um, That's what I wait for. I would have had. Um, she resents him because he's the one who went and went mainstream and went famous and everything with it, and she was the one who stayed in the trenches doing the serious research about it. And they they were like, not uh, they were contemporaries in the same yeah. field, but he makes money from it while she's keeping it real, sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would make sense. I would have went that way. They went for a little bit of a quicker fix, having them being previously married. I was like, all right, I'll forgive it. You know, it's whatever. You know, yeah, and they worked it in. They made it cute because their banner was cute about it. It was like weed and level nice. Okay, a little welcome relief from all this tension. Oh my god, our child's missing, kind of thing, which was nice to have. Yeah, uh, and the ending was uh, fucked up but satisfactory. It was like a happy Good. ending, 
but also a very fucked up ending. <laughs> <laughs> so I like their view of the afterlife, the after, the other world. The other side there, yeah. Yeah, the idea of, because technology now, everyone got a GPS tracker. Yep. Uh, and they talk about how the other side geometry doesn't work because there's no such thing as a straight line over there, which was mm. kind of neat. And so what he had was uh, uh, one of those four rotor drones yeah, the kid has the quadcopter. Every, all kids have yeah, right quadcopter. Really. So they put the little it had a camera on it. So they put the fucking they sent it into there to follow the rope and stuff to see where it came out and shit. So that was kind of neat, a neat spin on it. Send the unmanned drone in to the afterlife. Yeah, the technology invading the supernatural. I thought that was an interesting angle. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a good you way know, of updating it. Yeah, the fo- oh my god, they're in there. Follow their GPS, and you see it go. Whoa, all over the place. So that was kind of neat. I, you know, I didn't think about that. Kind of like a little Ghostbusters ish, but like serious Ghostbusters ish, right. not like jokey Ghostbusters ish. Uh, but yeah, I would give it. I would give it two thumbs up. Hmm. Uh, uh, worth checking out. That's uh, that makes me want to go see it because yeah. I heard about it. And just instantly wrote it off as oh fuck, they're remaking yeah. another movie. I love. This Great. Is yeah. But whatever. If you actually liked it, that says a lot because yeah. you're extra cunty on these I type am, of remakes, I'm very, especially very classic horror film yeah. remakes. That, that's your jam. So that great, the, the original was just so great. Just, oh yeah. I mean it. And that scared the fuck out of me when I was little. And it had that dude. One of the best scenes when I those like there was a lot of very human moments in that in the original, but that one scene where the father's yelling at the guy that he works for, his boss, mm-hmm. when he just grabs him when all hell's breaking loose, he goes, you moved the stones, but you didn't move the graves. Yeah. You didn't move the bodies. He's like freaking out, and the dude's just like, ha, ha. And uh, it, was, it was just like such a chilling, powerful, intense moment in the middle of all this shit. And the fact yeah, that the, the whole fucking pool's melting and yeah, shit. Yeah, right? and These fucking shit's fucking exploding they're, they're out of the coffins ground. are coming yeah. out of the ground and shit, and lights are flying everywhere. And, but the bad guy, notice the bad guy didn't really get punished. It was the innocent people that got punished. Yeah. So Spielberg was kind of saying something. It, it wasn't neat and tidy. It wasn't, look, the, the good guys won. The bad guy got what he was. What? No, no, the good guys didn't win. They got away. Scarred, yeah, yeah. They lost their house, and they're fucked up now. They're stronger for it, but they're fucked up now. And nothing really nothing happened, happened to the bad to guy, the guy, guy yeah. who was the chiseler. Nothing. He didn't get haunted. I like that. It was like that. It was kind of like it was real, yeah. real yeah, worldy. You know, thing, that yeah. The good guys don't win. They just get away, and the bad guy just you know y- y- yell him. About his business. Yeah. So you know, uh, it, it it it. There was a couple nods to it. The original and that, but uh, all in all, it was its own little thing nice. going on there. It wasn't bad, but uh, yeah. So that's a, a movies I saw and shit. Pater, did you see any movies? I've or? seen all sorts of shit. Oh shit! Um, I also saw Avengers. Um, okay, Age of Ultron. Yep. Yes, it was good. I liked it. We already talked about it. Yeah, uh, Com- you already talked about it. I agree. You know what I didn't ask you though? If you yeah. were to compare Avengers to uh, Avengers to. Uh, uh, making Avengers, would you say better, worse? Like how I feel it progressed the story, or just or a just straight like, comparison just of the movies? Comparison, just your overall impression. Um, I would say, well, see, here's my thing is it, because there was so much going on, I wanted to see more of like because I like the character development, the things that oh, got yeah, going yeah, on. I love that shit. So I really want to see the the director's cut before I make the full comparison yeah, because yeah. I'm knowing that it's not. You're not the getting full the full story. Thing, like that, there was made. so much they had to cut out of it. It would be more interesting to see what they like, what they had cut out. Like if that fleshes it out more, or if it just makes it more confusing yeah. or whatever. I'm glad they got rid of it. Wow. Yeah, I see now. Because because uh, I I thought it was good. I liked where they went with a lot of the stuff. It all seemed like real logical progressions. And like again, the setups for all the next couple of Marvel movies coming out are really good. Yeah, that was really cool. That got um, me excited. So yeah, and. I, Really, I got to watch it again. I think too, because because so much shit was going on. I know there's a lot of stuff I missed. Yeah. Um, whereas the first movie was a lot more focused, but that's just because it was we got to get the team together, you know. Yeah. And like, and they're just in the second one. There's just so much like introducing new characters. Uh, old, you know, old oh, characters. Yeah, Quicksilver, on. Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, yeah. more enhanced. Yes, because they're not allowed to call the mutants. That because, makes me angry. Uh, the Sony owns the X Men still. Or yeah, whatever. it's like stop it, guys. Come on, man. This is bullshit. But don't worry, Disney, Marvel, Lucas Arts <laughs> is uh, gonna be able eventually. to throw enough money at that to get. Yeah, that. eventually it's gonna happen. They got Spider Man for the next Avengers, so yes, that's a thing. Because they're like, look, um, 
we have more money than God because Disney. So I think yeah. you guys want to give us Spider-Man. And you're just me. shitting all over Spider-Man, so come on. When I was a kid, there was uh, the X-Men uh, cartoon. Oh, yeah. The 90s cartoon? Oh, yeah. Yep. And, uh, well, I say kid, but I mean, you know, whatever. I was a kid. Well, I was in high school when that happened, so <clears> I watched the hell out of that. I was, I guess, yeah, technically an adult. But anyway, when I was younger, I, I, I watched the cartoon because I was like, oh, let me see what they're doing with this thing. And they had one episode where they had Spider-Man in one of the episodes. Yep. And I was like, whoa, I got so fucking pumped up. Because I'm like, oh, my God, it's like Spider-Man is so cool. So I, I'm very excited that they've got Spider-Man now. I can't wait to see how they work yeah. him in there. Well, because they're, uh, from what I understand, they're doing like a real Marvel Studios Spider-Man movie. Oh. At some point, And it will not be an origin story. Well, because they've they're, done the yeah. origin well, story to death. That's the thing. They're like, we're not rebooting it. We're just making a Spider-Man movie because if people don't know the origin by now after 18 really shitty movies, <laughs> oh my uh, God. then fuck them. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of Spider-Man origins. Yeah, so... Uh, Almost as many Superman, for fuck's sake. Right? So I saw Avengers 2. Uh, I saw Jupiter Ascending. What did you think of that? It was every sci-fi movie I've ever seen, uh, except very shiny. Uh, Mia Kunis and... Uh, that guy. Magic Mike had <laughs> zero chemistry, and it was really awkward to watch the entire time. Yeah, I hear it's like a it's like a teen novel movie. Uh, yeah, except it's, not I on mean, the novel. They it's were like to... it's somewhere above Twilight, but below Star Wars. <laughs> That's a lot of space, my friends. Yeah, Twilight is so frontier. far away. It's it was. It, there was nothing new to it at all. Yeah, here it the borrowed story, from a lot of stuff, but the, didn't the advance story was anything. Every sci-fi, you know, story. everything. It was damsel in distress the entire time. Uh, Disney princess doesn't realize she's a princess uh, type yeah. of thing. Uh, you Protector know, guy ends up poor being girl hero. ends up running the universe. Yeah, then the the odd. You know, Beauty and the Beast type of uh, r romance story to it. The effects are incredible. Like, yeah. I went into it going, like, having already heard a lot of these things. I'd, and so I went into it going, I want to see a fucking visual feast. An orgy. I want to just watch just some really awesomeness. crazy, awesome shit. And yeah. it delivered. Otherwise, it's every. If you've ever watched sci fi or if you're into sci fi, <sighs> there's not going to be anything new. And it's like, throw it on for background noise. That's disappointing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not. Because they had these even. really clever trailers. Did you ever see the trailers, Daniel? No. They had these cl clever trailers that hinted at this, like, it seemed like it was putting, like, a whole new universe out there. Well, and that's the I other mean? thing that's kind of, uh, like, <clears throat> if, it, if, if they actually, if they didn't write it, like, if they had hired really good sci-fi writers, yeah. it could have been amazing. Because, like, it, the writing was real bad, too. Like, it, it was not good. Uh, but yeah. the whole idea that there's, like, that the human race isn't from Earth... And uh, that uh, they uh, like these people, like the, the actual galactic humans that kind of own the entire universe, like run this crazy thing that they do. Like yeah, it was they, a really cool premise. Yeah, the premise sounds neat. It's just that it, it they, they they did the, yeah they it was really poorly written. Kind of how Lucas created a great universe, but when he tried to write the script of the stories for shit specifically, yeah, that prequels. He fucked it up. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, but oh. it, it was not good either. What is that bad? Twilight. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was... Yeah, the prequels were the Twilight of the Star Wars Pretty universe. much, yeah. Fuckers. So, uh, but, you know, visually it was, it was amazing to look at, so that was a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did I watch? I watched The Kingsman, the yeah! Secret Service. That was fun. What did you think about that? That was surprisingly fun. Did it... Now, see... Did you go into it thinking it was going to be more of like a british -y sort of gentleman spy sort of thing? At first, I thought it was going to be a really bad James Bond knockoff. Yeah. But then I learned more about it, that it was based on a comic book and that it was supposed to be lighthearted and goofy. And I was like, oh, okay, it's a silly spy movie. I was sort of and surprised. It turns out it was, it was but... Like a silly, it, serious sort yeah, of... Yeah, it, it, it was a spy movie... Made by people that love spy movies, um, and just like with, with a, a nod to all humor. the old school stuff, yeah. and just like it was just a, a fun action packed yeah. romp through a, a crazy fantastical spy world. What do you think? What did you think of the fight in the church? 
That was fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Because I was just like, I'm watching it, and I'm like, holy shit. And then I'm watching, I'm like, oh, he's affected by it. I'm like, holy shit, you've turned a super fighting fucking killing machine loose in a in a church full of Southern Baptist bigoted assholes. Oh my God, this is the yeah. best. <laughs> I'm like, holy Hollywood wish fulfillment. And they milked that fucking utter. Oh, holy yeah, that's good five shit minutes of killing fucking of just, bigots. Of just him just murdering ass. everybody. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, that was that was pretty fucking cool. I, I was I was and then uh spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen this movie, since it's still kind of new. Yeah. Ish, I don't know, but yeah, uh, then he dies, which I was yeah, like, that's what? I was just like they fucking they shoot him right in the head in the like beginning of Act count. Three, and I was like, holy fuck! I actually didn't see that coming. I figured it no. was, it, but it wasn't that kind of movie. No, it really <laughs> wasn't. It, it 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 jumped around a little on the tone, but I think it pulled it off. Yeah, ultimately, uh, because the jumping around the tone matched the world that it was shot in, so it kind of worked. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was good. I would have liked to have seen. I think they did. They did this for the fucking rating sake, but like everybody's head exploding in the uh, like funny, colorful mushroom cloud thing. Yeah, yeah. I think it really, if it just would that had, seemed a little goofy. That was a little yeah. too much for me. I think it, just have it splatter. But then I'm like, do you realize you're talking about like probably several hundred heads exploding? That probably would have changed their rating. Yeah, the changed rating. the rating, and it probably would have been like because it probably was a lot cheaper to do that in the VFX shot than it was. Yeah, to, uh, I didn't actually explode that many watermelons. Yeah, I didn't really that I didn't care for it. The rest I had no problem I, with. I, well, by the time I got to that, because I was like real towards the end of the movie, I was just like, well, all right, this Whatever. is a little bit of goofy spectacle for the end because yeah. it's like it it sort of fit the theme of. It's party time and like yeah, all that and, things you know, got a little ridiculous, but it, it, everything was a little ridiculous yeah, at I that mean, point. It, it, it continued to be over the top, but I like the fact that it was over the top, but only by like yay much, not like insanely over yeah, the yeah, top. Yeah. There wasn't like fucking uh, fucking goofy. It wasn't like Expendables level of over the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. I do like the fact that he got to fuck that uh, Swedish chick. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> was like, I, was I was like, like yeah, yeah, okay. Getting your bond on. I'm glad I didn't bring my daughter to see this, but yeah, all right. <laughs> she just flat out says she's going to live fuck her in the asshole. And I'm like, that's a bit much, but I'm not for me at yeah, all. I'm, I'm okay with like, that. Yeah, das ist gut. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Get some, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was, it was a cute movie. It I was a cute it. movie. It had a little bit of heart. It had a little bit of goofiness. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Uh, oh, was there any other like newish movies that I've seen? I don't know. There's a Netflix uh, TV show. Oh, that's right. I watched Daredevil. I've heard a lot of really good things. It People keep telling me watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch yeah. it, and I'm like, uh, I still got the Affleck rash. Where it, I'm like, uh, yeah. See, I went into it going oh but Affleck and then I was like fuck it let me watch the first episode and then 12 episodes out of 13 oh, later yeah 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 at one sitting huh. I, I was just like they're so good because the writing is fantastic the acting is fantastic he doesn't huh. even put on the suit till the last episode see that's interesting and it's it's all it's it's the right mix of action and drama there's not like shoehorned love stories there's like little bits and pieces of ones here and there but the kingpin Fucking sells it. They humanize him. Oh. They give like all the backstory is really interesting for so everybody. Clear motivation. Like, you feel like you understand why everybody's doing what they're doing, and you understand where the kingpin's coming from. You see the transformation of both Daredevil and Kingpin into the their super status Ooh. because they both start as a guy who's blind and good at fighting and has an ideal, and you see a guy who's big and powerful but awkward and has an ideal, and you see them rise, both of them rise to power in their own see, right. that's kind of cool. the course of the thing. Okay. It's so well done. We'll have to check that out. Yeah, but, like, I couldn't say enough good about Daredevil. Like, and the supporting cast is really good. Like, none of the uh, characters are really annoying. And the other th cool thing is that while there's episodes, it's all one story arc. So like the shit that happens in episode one affects what happens in episode seven, and like you like you oh, see it all cool. progress. And as you meet characters, they don't just show up for an episode and fuck off. Like they either like there's a reason there's, there's a reason for everyone being where they're that's at. Kind of compound it's, storytelling. Yeah, it's, nice. it's really well done, and it's not. Hmm. And the other cool thing is there. It's it. 
all the story arcs, while there might be like a couple different stories going on, it's not cluttered and complicated, like overly so. Mm. Everything makes sense within the same, it's like it's all part of the same structure. Okay. They're they're you know because it's like all right you got all the stories are necessary. Yeah, you got a Daredevil storyline, and then you've got like his partner story happening, and then the girl they hire her story, but they all work together to support the same overall uh, you know bit of writing and stuff, and where it goes and all that, and where all like the lines intersect and stuff like that. So huh. it's really really well done. I'm going to totally watch it now. There's I a, recommend uh, it. Yeah. <clears throat> there's a new show called uh, Derek. Uh, it's the BBC made it. Ricky Gervais is in it, and uh, Carl Pilkin- Pilkerton are, are in it. Uh, uh, from Idiot Abroad. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I saw that, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is gonna be great. Um, a dear friend, Jamie, mm-hmm. uh, pointed this out to me. I was like, oh, I'll check it out. She's like, oh, I was watching it because it's funny, but then again, you'll cry. And I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, sure. So I go to put it on, and it's about this. Ricky Gervais, you know, usually yeah, he's wacky, funny guy. nutty guy, funny guy. He plays a, a soft-spoken, awkward, like, 50-year-old dork loser guy who works in an old folks' home. He's, like, one of the caretakers. He, and he, he takes care... He, like, really cares about the old people there. And, you know, he talks to him, and, and, and he's emotionally connected to him. He's just a really nice guy. But he's really awkward. But the, his, his performance, like, really nails it. He's not trying to be funny. You really say... Oh wow! This is you really connect with that character, and uh, Pilkerton plays the maintenance guy. Yeah, who's basically <laughs> just Carl Pilkerton, <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> and like they all like live in the same flat with this other guy who doesn't have a job and doesn't pay rent. Who's <laughs> a sex fiend weirdo, <laughs> and that's really gross, like in a disturbing, <laughs> gross way. The things he does, <laughs> and. Uh, but there's like these real fucking human moments in it will rip your fucking heart out, dude. You'll be like, oh, it's fucked up, man. It's Aww. just fucked up. And <laughs> shit. I say, you ain't right, man. Damn. Like, and it's just, it, it's very cleverly written. It's very cleverly done. There's no like hokey fucking like heartstring pulling. It's all real genuine moments. Hmm. Real observations in the human character and and the human uh, um, uh, condition, condition uh, and how we treat old people and what they're going through hmm. and how young people can relate to them and how society relates to them, along with the story arcs of the characters. So it's called Derek. It's on Netflix, so it's free. Uh, wait, is Netflix free? No. Oh, well, it's, it's free. Eight bucks you, a month. It's, yeah, it's free if you got Netflix. But I think everyone has Net. You have Netflix, right? Netflix. Everyone has Netflix now. Yeah, it's so very true. It should be like a free utility. It should be like you you can vote for free and you have Netflix for well, free. I kind of have Netflix. I hacked into his. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, no, that's that's not. A, I I don't know if two people can watch the same account yes. at the same time. You can have up to like four or five. Yeah, so you can have. Well, you can have. A, you can have a. You can stream up to like four or five devices. Yeah, at the same time. I just I told my. So ex- I hacked into the ex-husbands. Well, see, it's, it's not. <laughs> I told my ex-wife, this is what I don't understand. My ex-wife was like, oh, what do I do to get an account? I'm like, just use my account. Like, but the kids will want to watch it. I'm like, you just use you my account. They different little boxes. They have like people on them and you click on whoever. Yeah, yeah. Carl they, they made it. Yeah. And stuff like right, that. they made it so you can have one account. I don't even care. I'm like, just use yeah. Carl. I don't give a shit. Just, just use my account. I don't I care. I did. I hacked into his. So now me and the kids have Netflix. Yeah, but I mean, that's the way it should be though. I mean, it, yeah. it's like... You should provide food, shelter, and Netflix. And Netflix. and Netflix for your children and the mother of your children. And uh, I don't care. She did this to me. I don't care. You put your penis in her and a baby's came out. So now that's just see, the world you live in now. Do you see why I keep him? Do you see why <laughs> I that's keep just, him? That's just how it, it's. A, there's the social contract, which is bullshit, but you, this is the penis contract. You put your penis so I in get there. free Netflix forever. And, you know, into her vagina and the babies came out. So now you're going to have to make sure that the kids can watch. Netflix. There's good right. shit on Netflix. There yeah. is. I mean, there's lots of educational shit, too, on Netflix that my, my youngest loves. That's right. You got Discovery on there. And the oldest loves to watch the horror movies that are on Netflix and shit, and gives her a chance to watch that, you know. And uh, I don't know what my ex-wife does with her Do time. Do you want to know? No, Probably, I really don't. Uh, <laughs> but if it's Netflix-related, whatever. Okay. Uh, you know, <laughs> she housed my penis like a fallen UFO <laughs> in her Area 51 for... Uh, 11 years. So there's a few residual perks which happen. Netflix. That's Netflix good. is one of them. 
you know, that's just how. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's wrestling with the uh, metaphor the I imagery. used. imagery, yeah. That's, <laughs> I, I mean, it makes sense because it sounds My like Area 51. sperm laying there strewn out like the aliens. <laughs> I imagine Area 51's a really wacky place that's uh, very <laughs> stressful and uh, yes. closed off from the rest of humanity. Nobody knows what happens there, yeah, but everybody is. knows what happens there. That's right. Yeah, that's a lot like the last years of my marriage, actually. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> Thanks for following along. I'm Even glad though that there was all con- we know that there could have been great technologies there, we couldn't figure it out. There's all probably got- all sorts of fantastic yeah. stuff buried yeah, under the layers. Nobody can make it work. No one can make it work. It's buried under the layers of red tape and bureaucracy. Yes. That the only is, thing uh, we got out of it was Velcro. That was the only tech we could make. <laughs> we could figure out Velcro and microwave. The rest were like, we'll figure it out when we're smarter. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot like my former marriage. I'm yes. About right? But uh, yeah, uh, that was a very long show, but a very good show, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Daredevil? Daredevil? Or this show? This show. Oh, <laughs> this show. Okay. I don't know about Daredevil, so I can't comment yet. But you're not the first person to tell me about that. They yeah, I was, I was actually surprised you hadn't seen it. I yeah, figured I've been you'd have been all over that. Watch the Daredevil, and I'm like, ah. Uh, it's hard. Yeah, it, well, that's that's. The, I had the same struggle, and I was like, "Fuck it!" I'll, like I said, just give episode one a shot, and if you're not hooked, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Because I, <laughs> I, 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 wow. I, because uh, it's well, I mean, it's it's Carl's type of comic book show because it's very grounded in reality. Yeah, you know, and they don't like. There's no. They don't daredevil vision like in that awful movie. <sighs> They, yeah. they, the way they represent how he does what he does, visual, like visually on the screen, is super clever. Like it's very, yeah. it's, it's like the Affleck uh, Daredevil vision wasn't too, too bad. Uh, that was like the least of my problems with the. the well, Affleck yeah, I mean, but movie. like that's the only comparison that is there because everything yeah. else is so f- like light years beyond that. Yeah, well, they tr- they, they're using it to tell a story. You know, character-driven story. Yeah, which is neat. That's what that's what we should do. It's, yeah, it's really, really well done. Let's talk about the human condition in this grandiose. Where you use heroes to tell a story. We've been doing it as a species for forever, a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bef- yes. So, or were you talking to someone else? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Star Wars, the trailers. Yes. I haven't had a chance to talk <laughs> to you about it, Pete. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? We're home, Chewie. It's so. <laughs> did you see the one that someone made where it said, "Chewy, I'm old." It's <laughs> 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 perfect. <laughs> so no. wrong. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. And That's was, awesome. And they nailed his voice, so you actually think he's. I'm like, wait, I had to back it up a couple of times. <laughs> like, That's fucked up. But I have to admit, because you know, I had trepidation. Yeah. Because we've been hurt by Uncle Uncle yeah, Uncle George. We, uh, he heard us. He gave us great memories, but those that Yeah, he, uh, he told us there was puppies in that van, but there was Jar Jar Binks. Uh-huh. <laughs> there was a couple summers where he heard us. He heard us in the Anakin. Aww. He violated our Ruby Starfruit many too many damn times. <laughs> yep. It's terrible. Show me now the X-wing where he touched you. Yeah. He latched onto our power cable I like can. a Minoc. <laughs> yeah. It's wrong what he did to us. But Uncle but. JJ Uncle JJ, he's making us trust again. He's, we can, you know, we feel okay now. <laughs> Practical effects. Practical, Practical effects. Practical effects. Storytelling. Practical effects. Actual stories and good writing and yeah. interesting ideas. And uh, I like, I really like what he did with the Star Trek universe. Uh, um, but as fun action so- uh, movies. Yeah. Not as Star Trek movies. I know. As he, fun he t- action movies. He took but, us in a new direction, and he did it competently. Yeah. I mean, like, as a directing it, he was fine. The story was crap. Yeah, the I writers mean, might not have been so great. But it didn't I liked have to it be that, it was that My thing was it didn't have to be that way. I would love to have seen him with a great story and tell a great story with his thing he does with yeah. filmmaking, which I think we're going to get Yeah, that's from what Star it looks Wars. like what we got this time going around. But that, the trailer, just the opening scene where he had, you see an X-Wing and you see behind it, this tiny, you see this tiny little speeder and you see this big destroyer, Star Destroyer. In the sand, yeah. In the sands. And you can see they've been there for a while. So... In that first like ten to twelve seconds, your universe already feels feels lived in. He's he's told you in such a slick way 
more than Lucas was ever able to achieve. He's told you. Yeah, he, he gave you the, the setting and the premise and the time frame. All, all right there. He said, look, there's been, there's, there's an X-Wing. There's a Star Destroyer. You know that someone very small stood against someone very big. There were losses on both sides, and it was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And you're seeing this is going to be a tale of the survivors. The people. He did that all with the way he fucking put that scene together. To me, look, goosebumps, that's filmmaking. And I was so, I was just like, I didn't realize the tension I had. I was just like, <laughs> oh, I started to loosen up a little bit. I'm like, could there be hope? This, this is a new hope for me, but not yeah, really right. new hope. But this is, <laughs> you know, and just the way, and just the fucking thing. And then the, they had that Star Wars thing in Anaheim, California, the Star yep, Wars the festival thingy, whatever, whatever it is. It was, yeah. When he had the real BB-8 come out. Because I saw the BB-8, and I was like, what's that? Oh, Ooh, no. Soccer ball. Yeah, I'm thing, like, right? it's going to be more f- computer effects now. But and he's like, no, I don't like to use computer effects when I don't have to. So I had him just create it. So there's a real BB-8. Like, that thing works. It, they had R2 out there, mm-hmm. and he had the real BB-8 come out. It's a real thing floating on a soccer ball thing, <laughs> and it does all the shit it does. <laughs> it's going around R2, and R2's like... <laughs> and they're just having a chat, <laughs> and it's real. It's really real, real. And I'm like, ooh! Dorkgasm! Yeah. I was so excited. <laughs> like he did it. He did it. He's this isn't bullshit. He's not gonna pierce my. He's gonna invade my rusty Whoa, no. fucking sheriff's, sheriff's badge. badge. <laughs> he's not gonna poke me in my no no spot. This is real. He's gonna make the magic happen. Yeah. Yay! It's gonna be fucking rad, dude. I'll so and then of course then you see fucking Han and Chewie. It's like Chewie, we're home. Yeah. And it wasn't like and I'm like look. Look, it's Harrison Ford. He's not doing stupid shit like he did in the Crystal Skull. Look. Yeah. Look at what can happen when, look, see, I'm so happy. I was so, I was so, I'm so fucking pumped up. So I'm totally going to go like spend a whole day just watching this over and over again when it comes out in theaters. Uh, yes, I'm Yeah, that's 40. a midnight release that I'll be, uh, I'll be available for. And I'm 41. Well, we'll be 41 when this comes out because it's coming out at Christmas. Yeah, birthday's June 18th, so I'll be a 41 year old watching this just over and over. Just and the best it. part is that uh, my dad's new job is to be the uh, general manager of a brand new restaurant movie theater in Philly. Oh, dude! So I won't even have to pay for it, dude. You're just gonna go and just enjoy the awesomeness. It's going to be awesome. The best right at 69th Street Station, too, so I don't even have to try to get there. Oh, yeah. It's just going to be right there. Zoop, and you're yeah, there. Yeah, because they're building a, uh, a... You've heard of the Alamo Draft House, right? Nope. Well, it's a it's a Sounds chain. drafty. <laughs> it's a chain in Texas, and this, this is not that, but it's a similar idea. You go in, uh, like you get tickets online or whatever, um, and it's a movie theater. Uh-huh. But instead of sitting in a theater, as it were, you uh-huh. sit down at a... Table. Oh yeah, you I heard order about your this. food with a yeah, little pad, and yeah. they bring out food and drinks, and I you watch, watch a movie. movies like a grown up, and it's would want to watch them. Fucking amazing, yeah. and I can't wait to go. There that does help fucking time. Cool as shit. <laughs> it's like now that I make grown up money, I can do things like this. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. The um, when we went to go see Tomorrowland, one of the trailers, of course, is uh, is for the next Star Wars film. Yep. So I'm there with my six year old, and it you know it just comes on you see lucas films and i hear her go <gasps> and i'm just like <gasps> yes and i'm like yes and it just starts you know showing the da, da, da. she goes oh, what's that is that i was like that's an x-wing that's a star destroyer she goes what's that little thing i'm like some kind of sand speeder <gasps> and then like mm-hmm. you know you see you see the darth vader, vader mask she goes <gasps> and she just realized the significance of this and i'm just like Oh, this is her mythos too. She wasn't <laughs> ruined by the prequels. This is all those years of making her watch the real ones pays off. Oh yeah, she understands. And then she sees R two, and she's like, oh, R two. And sees the hand. She goes, Look at the robot hand. Is that I'm like Luke Skywalker? <laughs> and then she's like, A lightsaber. I was like, Is that? I'm like, I think that's Leia. And then like she's like, Who's that? I'm like, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> and like you see all the cool shit happening, and she's just like totally swept up the moment like I was. I'm like. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get daddy tears right now. Serious daddy tears. Aww. This is such a great moment. And so the trailer goes. I'm like, and I lean to her and I'm like, you know, we're gonna watch this. 
You know, you know, yeah. Daddy's taking you to watch this all the times you want to. And she's like, <laughs> oh, "Really, I make? Oh, hell's yes! <laughs> and we're gonna live off candy and popcorn for a day." <laughs> she's like, oh. "I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have diabetes, <laughs> and we're not gonna be able to be see. Diabetical. We're gonna be blind. We're not gonna be able to see the sun when we. The sun's not even gonna be up when we come out. <laughs> we're gonna close the place out like drunks at a bar watching this." She's like, "Oh." <laughs> she gets all excited. I'm like, I know. <laughs> so that was like a really positive moment. That's cool. Now that, that's how we end a season five episode, Pete. On a positive note. On a positive fucking note. Damn it. I got all lightheaded there for a minute. Holy shit. Whew. Yeah, all that. <sighs> uh, that positive, all that, uh, exciting. Positive uh, geekiness. inhaling and stuff. Just holy shit, yeah. Oh my, I need a drink after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good for me too. Ordinarily, I'd have a smoke. I'm just going to rub... Uh, the coffee smoke just, on your face. Uh, I'm just going to rub this fucking tobacco box that Danielle was so awesome to get me. With uh, my hazelnut coffee all over it. Uh, oh, that's your... <laughs> uh, no, I really want to lick it, but I'm afraid because I'll just take it too far. Yeah. It could get creepy at any minute. <laughs> no, I mean like, and actually get nicotine in my system, oh. which would ruin everything. Because it's like, if I wanted it in my system, it's there. It's not like I can't do it. It's just I can't do it. Right. It's not fair. It's not. Gotcha. Uh, it's not fiscally prudent. Yeah, I know. It's like, and I'm like, you know, you know what? This thing pissed me off a little bit because I'm like, I, I tried, I tried, Pete, no, to yeah. tell my ex-wife when she still was wife. I'm like, look, this is gonna save us like hundreds of dollars a month, and all you gotta do is not smoke for like a week, and I know you've done it before. And you probably shouldn't because you smoke like Did you like really crazy. think she's going to listen to you? Come on. Well, I got like the first three, enough words out of my mouth that she understood what I was trying to say. Yeah, no. And then the hate factory went into full like fee speed production <laughs> yeah. of just you, assassination. Yeah. You walked right into Droids, that one. which were all, they all came out and I was the meat bag and that was that. But uh, no, fuck that. This is easy. This is honestly easy. It's just annoying. I just have to not do a thing. Yeah. It's annoying. It's just mildly annoying. That's all it is. I don't understand how you can not have enough fucking willpower to not do it for a week. The fuck? <laughs> for a week? Yeah, it's not that bad. The fuck? It's a week. The fuck? I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I, I don't know. <sighs> but uh, Star Wars is going to be fucking awesome. Star Wars yes. is going to be awesome <laughs> now. Yeah, now we're, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, we're supposed to end to on a positive note. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that's the right, because that's how we end this thing. Yes, that's right. I started falling into a nicotine-deprived hate fest. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 get That's back. Right. Just because I'm here doesn't mean we have to end on a negative note. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have to make it That's weird or bring night. it down. I, I'll tell you all about it later. But I, I went to go see a movie with a new friend. Nice. And it mm -hmm. was really great. It was just super. It was just a super like five-hour conversation of just awesomeness. Sweet. So That's real nice. We'll talk about that when we're trying to download whatever that thing is you want me to get. Skype. That's it. <laughs> when I get that Skype thing, which all the kids seem to be into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, the, all us 30-somethings. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that I refer to 30-somethings as kids means I'm old. I don't look old. Do I look old? You don't look old. Thank you. I don't look old. See, I don't look old. No. I look young and fresh and hip. Oh, my. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't go that, that far. But, oh, okay. Yeah. But I don't look old. No. no just Damn. not Good. fresh and hip. Well, thank you. I don't you, know I that guess. anyone is fresh and hip anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we know anybody. I think. You, I think. Uh, I think. It's, I think you're, or, or the word we're looking for is swag. I we're think the we're fact swag. That you called it fresh and hip makes you old. Oh, does it really? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I think that's another thing. When uh -huh. we were at at uh, the, the Becca's house. Uh huh. And I said, uh, I, I said something about hep, or I said golly, or something. I don't know. <laughs> and you were all just amazed that I was using that tech, that technology, <laughs> that technology, that terminology, that archaic technology of I words. I think they were amazed. <laughs> like I got a vacuum lot of tubes. Terminology. Yeah, because I, I said, uh, I said, golly, that's fucking awful. It was something where I combined like the old and the new. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and you were they like, they don't speak, Carl. Yeah, they were astonished. Uh, flabbergasted even. And, and, <laughs> and amused by my monkey shines <laughs> so you know it was uh, yeah now that's how you end the podcast Absolutely. ladies and gentlemen 
That's how we end the season five. Yeah. With Pete. Isn't it great we have Pete? Yeah, I'm sad. happy to be this here. This is just it's so awesome. much better. It's we, nice. We winced about it. So, like, Pete's not here. I told him we had a bitch fest. We did. Yes. Like, Pete's not here. And I was talking about... And Dave told me, too, when he listened to it. He's like, yeah, they were really upset about you not being there. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't, like, upset, like, pissed upset. We're just like... Because, Pete, you were here, here. You were, like, there, there. And, like, you know, it was like, ugh, when things started getting, like, really sucky yes. and, like in like pre-divorce crumbling marriage thing and I was like it got to the point where I'm like I just gotta talk to someone Pete and I talk to you and you're like whoa and I'm like yeah whoa but you were you were like a positive like you're like no dude you're doing the right thing you're you're, you know you're I try staying positive yeah. you know and that was like it was nice to know that I wasn't fucked fucked up yeah you know? I, I didn't get a chance to say thanks Pete <laughs> for that that was really yeah. cool but just knowing that you were there, it was like within close proximity. And it was yeah. like we could at least crank out the podcast on the regular and things were happening and stuff. And then things got, uh, and you moved and things were like, eh. Uh. Yeah. But now, you know, the force awakens now. Some serious shit's going That's on. That's right. Some shit's going on now. Yeah, son. Get, yeah. Uh, get, yeah. Get, yeah. Get, yeah. 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 Getting it going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Recognize that shit. <laughs> Son, yeah, yeah. Son. Get wild with the rumpus. Yeah, yeah. They don't say rumpus, do they? No. I don't, I don't see. I now, just did it. Yeah, we've lost even me. <laughs> yeah, I, I mix my jargon all together. You do. It's the problem when you're like centuries old. Everything just oh, gets geez. all It's all jumbly, up. yeah. All jumbly bumbly. In my head, all timey wimey, one oh. might say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, now that is how you end a podcast, which brings us to... You've been listening to That's Why. That's Why. That's Right, a Baby Boy production, episode number 113. 113. 113, a Baby Boy uh, production. And uh, we are all happy that you're listening to I don't have to pay for you. I can tell, all. yeah. So, so uh, we're all happy that you're listening to our show and stuff and things. You can uh, you can check us out at the YouTube channel. Yep. YouTube.com. Uh, YouTube.com. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> where we've got all the fun and the goodness and the, the crazes. This episode will be there. And pretty Yay. soon. Uh, you can check us out at the Facebook page, Pete. Ah, uh, yeah, Facebook.com slash That's Life Podcast. Uh, it's where we Facebook. Oddly uh, enough. Uh, fun that. <laughs> we post things. We'll let you know about when new stuff is uh, happening, uh, when we're recording, when new episodes go up. Uh, so give us a like and a share and a follow. And a, I don't remember how to Facebook very well. I, I'm a little rusty as well. It's it's also a, don't like it. It's a like and a follow. I don't know. Go love us on Facebook, you nerd. Yay! Facebook.com slash That's Life Podcast. That's right. And if you've enjoyed what you've just heard, I enjoyed talking about it. That's right. Tell a friend, neighbor, or co-worker and help us spread the laughter and the peeniness as far as we can. So for my penis, it's been Pete. <laughs> no, not penisness. Peeniness. There's a oh. P in there. There's a T in There's there. There's a T in your penis. You need to see a doctor. <laughs> yes. But anyway, uh, yes, happy to be back. This has been Pete. Danielle. Dan, Carl, <laughs> bidding you an adieu, an adieu, and a flabbergasted <laughs> monkey shine filled a rumpus room filled a do. <laughs> <laughs>fairly sure some of that was racist. Rumpus Room is not racist. I'm not sure what happens in a rumpus room. It's worth a Google, though.